what is good everybody today we have homer simpson versus peter griffin Mega i Lisa. don't know i feel like i'm good at nothing my dad once gave me a gun to hide that's terrible whenever i feel any pain or loneliness I just play away the blues on my saxophone. Huh. I usually just beat up a cat. Wow, she's actually pretty good. Was that good? It was okay, but it would be a shame to waste such great butcher's arms on a musical instrument. Homer, you're never going to believe what we did. We saw a movie in the afternoon. Yeah, we saw Surf's Up too. Marge covered her eyes every time the penguin surfed. God, what a, what a fun dog. <laughs> He's in the kitchen right now, totally accounted for. Shut up. I'll, uh, I'll go check on him right now, and Chris will come with me, but nobody else. Uh, I'm another dog in here. What the hell are you doing? He's having a dog play date. How does that help us? We're creating a broad story. Also, Matthew McConaughey is in here, too. All right, all right, all right. Hey, what happened to Jack Nicholson and that other dog? Yep. Wait, aren't you supposed to be looking for our car? Didn't find a car, Lois, but I found a good time with a good pal. Right, Homer? Hey, Quagmire who, right? Yeah, Quagmire who? Giant magnet? <laughs> Check. Giant plug? Check. Giant curbside outlet? Okay, let's get this garbage out of the street. How many confused old guys you got in this town? I'm old, so I'm the victim! <laughs> wakey, wakey! Good morning! You and oh my I God. have a day ahead of us. I hope he did not Evil fuck with Stewie. Hitler, Manson, Jaden Smith. But you're different from them, aren't you? Because they're rail thin and you're fat. You're a little piggy, aren't you, Nelson? In fact, I bet you're hungry right now. And to show my appreciation, I got a little something for you. Here you go. Pawtucket Patriot Ale. The best Quahog has to offer. Always keep an emergency six-pack in my trunk. Oh, that's cool. Bring an outside beer into my bar. Down the hatch. Oh, this is just the same as Duff, but, like, worse. Hey, come on now. This is my favorite beer you're talking about. Hell, I work for the company. It's my livelihood. Oh, yeah? Well, your livelihood is based on fraud. Look at this. Huh? Duff is oh. an icon. Yeah, but some folks prefer Pawtucket Pat. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I used to love Duff when I was younger, but I, I haven't even had it in, like, 13 years. do oh. Wow. The Pawtucket Patriot Brewery being sued? It's the largest employer in Quahog. I can't believe I haven't seen this. Jobs are riding on this. Yeah, I got a job for you riding on something. Peter! Sorry, sorry, Lois. I'm, I'm tired because we usually only do these things for half an hour. We're getting a lot of compliments. Yeah, we're doing something right. I'm whispering in court to look smart. But it's not just the main Duff recipe that's been plagiarized. Several other Duff variations, packages, and design elements have been similarly... Because uh, we're the two funniest guys in our towns? Damn right. I'm a Jewish clown. Me too. Are you a mayor? Yes, I am. Are you a cool mayor? I, uh, I like to think so. If you ask me, neither of these beers is wholly original. They're both pale imitations of my favorite beer, Bud Rock. <laughs> but rendering a verdict is something I'm paid to yabba dabba do. Uh, hey, I'm I'm in the wrong Springfield. Why was Fred oh. Flintstone even there? Hank, I want you to have this. Your saxophone? And I will never be like you. I I'm not pretty. I'm not smart. I'm not talented. I have the same shoe size as Charles Barkley. My prom date was a scarecrow I stole, and he left with someone else. Is that Nelson? Stewie, what the deuce? Nelson, Jimbo, Principal Skinner, Sideshow Bob, Apu. 
I know a poo's not your enemy, but I just wanted to say I took a poo. <laughs> Stewie, I don't think we can be friends. You freak me out. But if we don't keep in touch, I'll kill myself. That's what I'm talking about. Later, dude. <laughs> oh, the Pawtucket Brewery will be shut down, so I guess we gotta go back to Quahog and find Peter a new job. Mm, that's too bad. Yeah. Anyways, it was still nice to meet you and your family, even though you kind of screwed us over. It's about, uh, Santa's little helper. What about him? He's, um... Right there. You were trying to figure out a way to tell me that? Maybe, but I'm just getting warmed up! That's Al Pacino. Aww. Hey, Griffith. Sorry about your job. I was just sticking up for Duff. I love Duff, and Duff loves me. I thought, hey, I love this guy. This is the funniest guy I've ever met. I'm gonna quote this guy to all my friends. I love his town, I love his family, but now I think I speak for all of us when I say I am over the Simpsons. <gasps> well, what are you saying? What? What led up to the first punch, though? I do it to my son all the time. Oh. Hey, knock it off. There's a kid back there. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait. That doesn't count. It wasn't it wasn't an actual lap. Oh my goodness. I can't help but feel like this is like cut out some parts. And remember kids, TV violence is fine as long as you don't show a nipple. <laughs> Perfect. The earthlings are destroying themselves. Yeah, it's really great, isn't it guys? We went to summer camp together. Roger? <laughs> Fury. Oh, I talked too long. This is just like when he fights a chicken. All these jump cuts. Oh my god. You're parked behind me at your place. That is funny. Hey, listen, I... I'm sorry we fought. I just wanted to make you laugh and cry. You see, I'm a family guy. I understand. I'm a The Simpsons. Worst chicken fight ever. Oh, and thank God all the commotion about Dad's comic blew over. Oh my God, I had a comic? That's hilarious! Well, you may not be a cartoonist anymore, but you are a local hero for defending our beer. And apparently that's more important than hating women. Hey, Stewie, I'm sorry Bart didn't want to be your friend. What? 
No, no, what are you talking about? He was lame. If you ask me, he kind of sounded like a girl. Really? Kind of seemed like you idolized him. And I can understand losing a friend and feeling rejected. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think what would have made that whole fight a lot better is if they hadn't made so many jump cuts, but I think it could have been to avoid copyright claims, maybe? If it's that, then I completely understand. I, uh, I passed the test? No, Peter. I'm gonna shoot you like a dirty animal. But, but just the fact that I would make the offer is so meaningful to you. Your offer means nothing, Peter. The only thing that means anything to me is a bullet in your arm. Now give me that! Stop! Stop! Right, Mark! You're not let, leaving! Let go! Being Look, shot. I was trying to do it a I decent thing! I put that bullet in your arm, see Peter! Movie. Ah, son of a bitch! It's over. We're all friends again. What the hell, Joe? I'm just trying to settle this nonsense. Nothing got settled. You shot him. I'm the one who has to shoot him. Wait, wait a second. All right, then I get to shoot Joe. All right, he shot me. I mean, if we're doing things fair here, then... All right, we're good. I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Am I told you that we're all friends again? Yes, Peter. We were just talking about it. You're going to take me to the zoo and roll me around. You know, we're all friends again. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! No, you can't make me. I'll get hit with a coconut so I lose my memory of this. Ah, I remember everything. I was abused by my dad. Holy crap, this is awesome. I haven't felt a rush like this since I won that marathon. I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? I'll tell you, Bob, I just got in my car and drove it. And when there was a guy in my way, I killed him. In anticipation of this event, we put together a clip package featuring some of Billy's work for Channel 5 News. <laughs> the very hungry caterpillar but you've already ah! stop it i'm trying to watch my program well chris look mom's naked where ah, you creep what <gasps> no peter what's going on in here and your bunga you you imbeciles you ruined my night i asked for one thing in this house stewie just watch your show upstairs I don't want to watch it upstairs on the small TV. I want to watch it downstairs on the big TV. I want to watch my show. Oh, now Stewie's having a tantrum. I'm here, sweetie. Ow! Screw you, you little turd! What's all that noise? Oh, do you want a hug from your big sister? Hey, hey, get away! Just get away from me, Peter! Hey, take it easy, Quagmire. Nobody wants to hurt you. Right, Joe? Gotcha! Ha! Hepatitis C! Joke's on you. I already got it. Meningitis. I'm a carrier. Gonorrhea! Patient zero. You're gonna have to do better than that. Disgusting. I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Unless... Oh yeah, I, I kind of remember this one. He goes to like get like some like unknown disease and puts it in his arm and like swells up. I already seen it. This challenge is mine. All right, what this is has no name, so you can't have it. <laughs> we got him. Halloween is fun. Made it. What's good, everybody? How are we doing? Um, today I will be doing another try not to laugh challenge. All right, and this one is 
Cutaway Compilation Season 4, Family Guy. Would you like something to drink? I'll have water, please. I'll have water, too, but with lemon. I'll have a Sam Adams. It's 9.30 in the morning. And don't you have an outstanding DUI? Yeah, but I gotta get the taste of weed and hooker spit out of my mouth. I'll have a Sam Adams, too. Samuel Adams, always a good decision. And now back to 1943's Fast Talking High Trousers. Well, isn't this a fine song and dance? What are you getting so hot about? Keep your shirt on. Where do you get off making remarks like that? Supposing I say you're a lunkhead. Well, I ain't much for supposing. Well, supposing you were. Well, maybe I'm through supposing and I'm fixed to start figuring. Ah, uh, horseradish. Well, aren't you a pocket full of firecrackers? Oh, yeah? You got something to say about it? I'll say plenty. We now return to JAG. Harm, I found that evidence we need. Now we can finally clear that chief petty officer of all charges. Oh, what's the point? Does anybody even watch this show? Well, yeah. Old people. I mean, they, they, they don't really right. pay attention. They, they just like the noise in the company. Hey, how you doing? How's that hip doing there? Remember the 40s? We can't give up on our goals. What if Jesus had done that? Why is the ironing board still out? Feeding the worms, are you? Stewie, shut up, all right? Yes, I imagine those little fellows are enjoying quite a feast. You know what's interesting? I've only been alive for six weeks. I know nothing of the world beyond this dog's stomach, and I still find Six Feet Under pretentious. Damn, what is it about golf that always brings out the worst in me? So, Annika Sorenstam, you're uh, quite the female golfer, aren't you? Yes, quite the female golfer. Ha! I knew it! Look! Everybody look! Look! She's a fraud! Uh, what are you doing? Oh my god, this is almost as bad as my bath with Kathy Bates! Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out. You know, you really should talk to a therapist about this. I mean, it really helped Peter out when he became obsessed with that fantasy world of his. since the snorks. Oh, I'm having a really great time. Me too. I really value our friendship. You're not like those other snorks who only want one thing. Oh, that was clumsy. <laughs> Hang on a second. I've seen this. I never could trust him with money. Like the time he spent Meg's college money on that medieval catapult. <laughs> Excellent. These dominoes are set up exactly as I want them, right next to the good china. Now I'll just place this priceless Fabergé egg in the center, right next to my newborn hemophiliac baby. Hey, those yours? Yes. Oh, those are all really nice things. Thank you. You hear that, Evan? We were complimented. I can do that. I'm a smart guy. I once built that time machine out of a DeLorean. All right, past, here I come. Everybody in 1955 was on fire. I never knew that. I almost got an ulcer after you shelled out 200 bucks for tickets to crossing over with John Edward. I'm sensing an A. Does your name begin with an A? No. A B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P! Peter! My name's Peter! Is your name Peter? Wow, you are some kind of sorcerer. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's more disgusting than when Peter went through that Daisy Dukes phase. So who's oh, up no. for some hoops at the park, eh? Oh, there you are. Come here, you basketball. Oh! It's like a walrus flossing. I'm gonna be cooler than Brian when he hangs out of the bowling alley. That's what I love about high school girls. I keep getting older, they stay the same age. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Lewis pregnant. Oh, I didn't think the fat man still had that kind of marksmanship. But that's what they said about Lee Harvey Oswald. Hey, Mr. President! Mr. President, oh I'm here! God. I voted for you! Wait a minute. That guy on the grassy knoll's got a gun! He's gonna shoot the president! Holy smokes, I've gotta do something! All right, Lee. Time to become an American hero. I'm sure Besides, it gives happened. me time to try new things. Like that time I tried wearing adult diapers. 
Hey, Lois. Hey, kids. Oh, boy, that smells delicious. You know, I'd love to stay and eat with you, but uh, I gotta go meet Cleveland Joe and Quagmire down at... the bar. So, uh, just put my dinner in the fridge, and uh, I'll heat it up later. Love ya! So, why would you be a good candidate on The Bachelorette? I would be perfect for your show, because I know how to talk dirty to the ladies. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That feels so good. Spit in my mouth. And who could forget that classic episode of The Waltons? Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Mary Ellen. I've seen this one, Good night, too. Paul. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Pa. Good night, Ma. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. John Boy? Damn it, can't a guy masturbate in this house? <laughs> that guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. I promise you'll love it here, even more than Julia Roberts loves herself. Hi, I'm Julia Roberts. You know, a lot of people died in the tsunami, but don't worry, I didn't. And I'll be here to entertain you and love my life for many, many years to come. Me. 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 <laughs> oh, Brian on a date, hmm? That'll be more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco. 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 Just fucked Marco. Up. Marco. 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 You could always just work hard and be polite. That's how I won friends when I worked for E. See, Biscuit. Sea Biscuit, would you mind talking to E? I'm not Sea Biscuit, I'm Penelope Cruz. And you're just lovely. Would you like a carrot? Good girl. <sighs> All right, but I think this whole thing is about as pointless as Peter's cow kite. <laughs> ah, this is never gonna work, damn cow. Cleveland, what am I doing wrong? You gotta get her running before you start running. Shh, shh, shh. Lois, Lois. Let's watch the Brady Bunch. Look what I did, everybody. Isn't it the biggest, most super special poop you've ever seen? <laughs> well, Cindy, I guess it's true that big things come in small packages. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. You ever stop and think, wow, I'm married to that guy? Nah, I just repress it. Is that healthy? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. Because he's an idiot. You remember that time he went to the Today Show? Coming up on Today, Tom Cruise has a new movie. We're going to be talking to him. Katie! Funny man Al Franken will be stopping by for a visit. Katie! And Wolfgang Puck shares his recipe for our apple strudel. Katie! So stay tuned, because we've got all this and more coming up in the next hour. Katie! What? Oh, well, never mind. Before I start playing, I'm going to eat this whole sandwich. I think I'm gonna make it. I'll finish it later. Yay! Hmm, that's the second most it's impressive like trophy Drake. I've ever seen. You can do anything, and people and will And the cheer. Grammy for Album of the Year goes to Justin Timberlake. Ha! It actually goes to Nelly. Nelly. Chris, I know when you're lying to me, just like Santa Claus knows when you're sleeping. <laughs> What was that? Hey, what the hell? Oh, uh, hey. Get out of here! Okay, okay. Ah, breaking into Grandma and Grandpa's house. This is more exciting than that time I saw Bobby McFerrin fall down all those stairs. Cool. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have the best of Joe Swanson from Family Guy. 
and this will actually be two clips combined. This is the best of Joe Swatson season 10, and this is gonna be Joe Swatson screaming like clips as well. Boy, it's not like Quagmire to be this late. Yeah. Jeez, I've never tried to make conversation with just Joe before. This is brutal. Come on, Joe, you're losing him. Think of something. This was your shot. Two thirds of the planet is water. Yeah. Two thirds of the planet is water. This guy's okay. Nice work, Fry. Whoops. Well, at least Joe gets to be a cyborg. Oh my God! This is in 3D. Freeze, Frogmire! You are out past curfew and therefore in violation of local ordinance. Ribbity. Ribbity. Ah, geez, that's all my life is lately. Just a bunch of chores. I'm sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make oh. sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. I remember this one. Learn to live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! Hey guys, check it out. I peed my name in the snow. Jeez, Joe. That's normal. All right. We're gonna break out of here. We gotta get past these guards. Well, I got an idea. It won't be pretty, but bear with me. Oh, oh, oh no! I fell out of my wheelchair! Don't help me! I need to do this on my own! What are you doing, Joe? You're embarrassing us. Oh, really? Are they looking? No. They're actually going to great lengths to avoid it. Exactly. No one wants to watch a handicap struggle for independence. This will buy us at least 15 minutes of averted gazes. All right. It's I'll funny because it's true. Oh, oh, this is so humiliating. I'm about to be an adult man crying. I can't walk. Why the hell can't I walk? This isn't part of the act anymore! First, I have to read you the Miranda rights for Jewish people. You have the right to remain silent, even though you won't. You have the right to infer an insult where none was intended. What's that supposed to mean? You have the right to a lawyer who you are probably related to. This interview is over! What were you doing the night of March 8th? your mother. Come on, man, that's not cool. Oh, yeah? Maybe this is cool enough for you. It's gonna take a lot more than a fart in my face to make me. Yeah, and there's more where that came from. Ah, no, there isn't. Hello. You do. Hey, thank God someone else is here. You two seem to be the only ones in this hospital. No, I'm here too. Any of you guys know what's going on? I just woke up in one of these rooms. I have no idea how I got here. They I don't even amnesia? know who I am. All I know is I'm extremely important because there are drawings of me on all the bathroom doors. See? It's glued on there, too, so I'm pretty sure it's permanent. A major drug bust in Quahog today as police seized over 100 kilos of cocaine. Okay, I'm done. That's right, Joyce. Apparently, there were 100 kilos of cocaine right here in Quahog. And yet, my guy can't get dick. Singled out for special recognition in orchestrating today's drug bust was Officer Joe Swanson. It feels good to know that, thanks to me and my colleagues, a lot fewer people will be injecting cocaine into their penises tonight. Is that a thing? It's a great thing. Didn't Bonnie have that affair in Paris? He used his stinky French wiener to defile her. Didn't Bonnie have that affair in Paris? He used his stinky French wiener to defile her. Hey, Quagmire, we're in Joe's head. Hey, let's mess with him. I'm gonna leave a fart trapped in here. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I want you. I want you too. Come on. I have a little place we can go to. Wow, I've never seen a sofa in a bathroom stall before. Well, I'm the only one who comes in here, so I figured I'd make it my own. How are you enjoying your steak? Mmm, it's delicious. Let me put another log on the fire. Thanks, Joe. It was getting a little chilly in here. Well, that's because you're all the way over there. Well, let me fix that. 
Hmm. Oh, Joe. Oh, Nora. Did you bring protection? Oh, don't worry. Nothing comes out of the front. So it's really over, huh? After all these years? I'm afraid so. But let's be honest, Peter. Bonnie and I seem to have grown apart. Boy, I never would have seen this day coming when we first met. Africa by Toto was playing. Music video. All right, that's the end of Best of Joe Swanson season 10. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into um, Joe Swanson screaming. All right. All right, let's awesome. Yeah. It's just hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your champion is here to slay another Family Guy Try Not to Laugh challenge. This time we got Cutaway Compilation Season 11, Part 5. Let's go ahead and get into the compilation. And over here are my toys. This is my fire truck, my slinky, my silly putty. You know, Silly Putty's awesome, but you know what's really cool? Serious Putty. Oh, this looks like fun! It says I have cancer. We thought it would be better if you heard it from chemicals in an egg. That was dark. Hot. It's enormous. Lois, this is probably a terrible time to remember this, but I think I might have left the weed whacker on. Why would you do that hey, in the, the house? the Sunshine Band is playing. Why? Or we could visit the Pershing house where John Pershing took control of the 8th Army Brigade in 1914. So that's his bed? Yes. So that's his desk? Yes. So that's his lamp? Yes. So that's his dresser? Yes. So that's his window? Yes. So that's his floor? Yes. Wow. That's Amazing. That's okay, honey. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, remember when the fat man brought home that cougar chick? You make yourself comfortable, Beth. I'll be right back. Hi, young man. I'm looking for a good time. Uh-huh. I'm worldly. I'm fun. This ain't mileage. This is experience. Not interested. Listen, just so there are no surprises, don't be scared. My stuff looks like someone spilled an apple pie on my lap. Ugh, yuck. But I guess every girl has her own version of Prince Charming. I'm in love with Paul. I'm in love with John. You know what? I'm in love with Ringo. What? Um, I said... I, d I don't know what I said. Sounded like you said you were in love with Ringo. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Pretty sure you said I'm in love with Ringo. Here I am. Are Paul and John out there? 
Nope, just Ringo. Man, high school is rough. This year it's sneakers. Last year it was all about being overweight and wearing a baseball cap. Hey guys, sure hope we win the big game on Saturday. Get lost, dork. Yeah, gain some weight, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of all the years to be trim and well-hatted. Uh, you know, I have what got to waste. get myself back out there too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. Stew Man Group. I don't get it. What is this? We don't know either. No, I just read the back where it's printed in French. You speak French. Yeah, they love me in France. Oh, Quagmire. Shh, Quagmire. Non, c'est Quagmire. <laughs> Quagmire. Ah, Quagmire. Oh, Quagmire, don't fall near the mousetrap. That's good TV. You owe me from when I took you to see Shakespeare in the pack. Even though it was the part of the pack where the gay guys go to have sex. To be or not to be. Yeah. There. Ignore that. That's not part of the play. That is the question. Whether tis nobler. This isn't love, by the way. Hey, look. This guy's picking his nose. <laughs> look, now he's eating it. Chris, knock it off. You're gonna get me in trouble. Meg, they're dead. Would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Ah! Oh, it's just me. I can't believe this. But it's not like it's the first time you made a big family decision without consulting me. Yes, I'd like to see your quietest doctor. Wow. Hey, you know, I heard when you drink at high altitude, it hits you even faster. Whoa, party! I love you guys. You don't know how much you mean to me. You think you're better than me? Why can't you hit a curveball? I've done nothing with my life. It won't be so hard. After all, I've certainly done worse. I replaced Peter's I can't believe it's not butter with real butter. Oh, I've seen this one. But what? But I I can't actually... I can't believe I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Indeed, a force to be reckoned with, like Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu. Secretary Chu, Ways and Means has sent over a preliminary budget. It looks like the Department of Energy is looking at a 4% budget cut. <laughs> okay, no budget cut. No budget cut. Here you go, that's the spirit, buddy. There's He's a little business. bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys, fight. I know. There's a lot of crazy things I'll let Peter get away with. I even held my tongue when he went through that anime phase. Hey, Lois, me make drive time to a super fun clam with Noble so Quagmire and Wheel Monster Joe. Go Force! <laughs> Go for I love parties. I mean, I had a great time at my baby shower. Well, after opening all these gifts, I could use a little wine right now myself. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm sorry, my hormones are just crazy right now. Jesus. And being out here sucks. I mean, I'm not a forest guy. I'm, I'm more of a take it all in at the beach guy. <sighs> So that's Excuse one. me, sir. This is private property. What are you doing? <sighs> Just taking it all in. You're staring at my daughter's bedroom. She's really grown into her body. This is going to be a fun summer for her. Wow, Brian, that's a great idea. And hey, maybe I could give the speech at your graduation. I'm really good at that. And so, as I look out at your smiling faces filled with hope, all I can think is, you are completely screwed. As Martin Luther King once said, ouch, I've been shot. Thank you. Pretty sure that family he... is the pinnacle of high society. Never mind. They haven't worked in eight generations. All the kids have drug problems. Most of them have OD'd. That's terrible. Well, not all kids make it, Lois. Just ask the sugar smacks, frog. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've lost two more. What should we do about the graves? Dig them. Oh, man. I don't belong here, and they know it. By the way, that was some very underrated cereal, by the way. That's some really good cereal. People can always sense a fraud. Gentlemen. It has come to my attention that there is a Chinese among us. Rest assured, 
he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale investigation into the genealogy records of every single one of our employees. This man will be found, and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? We now return to Tom and Jerry, the final episode. So that's it? That's it? This is so much easier. I, I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. What do you want me to do with the body? <sighs> I don't care. Throw it in the garbage. Do you want any of his oversized mallets? I will take a mallet. That was the easiest one by far. By far. Oh, hello everybody. I am back with some more Family Guy reactions. Today we got Cutaway Compilations Season 13, Part 3. You already know. You already know. So you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. You know. Excuse me, Mr. Chicago? Could you please sign my copy of your book? Sure. I... Easy there, Joe. Hot Rod asked for Mr. Chicago. Hot Rod. The disrespect. Give me all your money? I have a gun? Oh, wait, I think I messed something up. Never give up on your dreams? Don't worry, Lois, I okay. swear, I'll be sensitive and gentle, like the Tasmanian devil tucking in his kids. He definitely has a way with words. Sometimes people just need a little encouragement to succeed, like Jason Biggs got from his grandfather. Jason, I want you to promise me one thing. Always be forgettable. I will, Grandpa. Hey, that's just a regular unattractive guy who's not famous. We did it, Grandpa. It's just that Brian's been so distant lately, and, and we used to be inseparable, like Jack and Jill. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out, and she swallowed it, and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist, and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? My turn again? Okay. Jill's barren. Come on. If you're watching Straight TV, that destroyed her. Already did all my chores. Uh, I sure did. Sure did. I scared off the mailman, threatened Quagmire's cat, and I even took your bath for you. Now I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Come on, man. Come on. Ah, he's got Rupert. Hey, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I'm your conscience, Jiminy Cricket. Ah, fuck! Andrea, you, you set a place for Jiminy again. Oh, so I did. Why? Why did he have to go around telling strangers what to do? Wasn't being a pediatric oncologist enough for him? <laughs> he hit on me at your wedding. Oh boy, so I haven't unnecessary. Had this much fun since I played with that buble rap. I just haven't met you yet. Oh, cool. Your mom thinks of me when she's doing your dad. What? Seriously, I drive older women nuts. I can make your mom and aunt kiss. This is a very skeevy packing product. I would say so. And I find in favor of Duff. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh yeah. Oh. Hello. Uh, hey, I'm I'm in the wrong Springfield. I guess business yeah, is job. better than ever. Yeah, it's the spirit, Lois. Just you watch. We'll be a bigger success than Richard Branson. Hey, where's the business guy in this boardroom? It couldn't be that tan, long-haired guy with the white linen pants, could it? It is. And now to my amphibious sky submarine. I have way too much money! I can't I say deal so. with my family during the holidays. And besides, my dad always spends Christmas at his timeshare in Coral Gables with his girlfriend. I've seen Great. this one. Here comes that couple with the adult disabled kid. Hey, can we join you? Uh, I'm Ken. This is Pam. And this right here is Scott. We really want to thank you, God, for testing us. It's been such a blessing. Can't wait to see what that bigger plan is. Well, I can't tell you that, but the good news is this little guy's gonna make it to 74. 
Wow, I can't believe this worked. I was afraid I'd stick out, like the one guy in Lincoln's cabinet who didn't have a beard. I want to win this war, and I want to do it fast. Ideas? We should meet the rebels head-on in Virginia. Yes, and use our ships to block their supply chains. We could also use our troop advantage to outflank them in the West. Uh, what did that baby just say? Boy, is this because of the time I pushed off of you after sex and bruised your boob? No, I mean, when was the last time you bought me flowers? Or, or we had a date night? We do stuff. Just last week, I let you watch me complain after eating too many hot wings. Oh, why did you let me do this, Lois? Why? Okay, Peter, I gotta take the kids to school now. That's how it Whoa! feels. Do Joe! Wow. I can't remember the last time Joe shot his gun. I know. That bullet's been rolling around in his junk drawer for years. Hey, Ma, guess where I am? Yeah, can you hear it? Flying through the air. I don't know what he shot at. I guess I'll just have to find out when I land. <laughs> no, I don't put Terry on. You, you can just tell him. Hey, hi, Terry. I've been thinking. Maybe I gotta find friends who can't make fun of my appearance because they're weird looking themselves. Like those two bearded dwarves walking across the street there. Hey, will you bearded dwarves be friends with me? We, sir, are Italian children. Good day. Oh, God. Come on, girls. Let's go wear big floppy sun hats in the pool and then be mad when they get wet. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the pool soon myself. Gotta let the lifeguard know he better keep an eye on me. I'm Damn. Here a whole week, pal. Oh, this is so relaxing. Menace. I could get used to this. Like the way I got used to wearing European diapers. Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a little cheese and vino. If anybody needs me, I'll be poolside next to my weirdly hot girlfriend with dark teeth. No way. Dark We're a teeth. team, Brian. Whether you like it or not. Just like almond butter and no sugar added fruit preserves. Who's hungry? We, we are. are! Hey, kids, would you like a terrible healthy sandwich? No. Too bad, because your recently divorced mom has a crush on her trainer, and he eats like this, so now you have to, too. Almond butter and no sugar added fruit preserves. Just like PB and J, but with more of your mom railing this guy. I name myself Kaya. Simpson. What a Rhythm. terrible name. Nice day, isn't it? Nice day for stabbing a friend in the back. Yeah, and a nice day for bringing Steve's to justice. We're getting a lot of compliments. Yeah, we're doing something right. Hey, sorry to bother you, but would you like to work here? Me? Emma Crombie. Yeah, you'd be perfect. I used to work here. All right, now let me just take off these security tags for you. Wow. It's a living. I used to hate working there. So random. That's a comment on us. Don't worry, I'll make sure Chris passes history. You can count on me. The same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronaut's kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. I did it once again. This one was probably better than the last one I did, but um, man, looking at that cutaway about the Abercrombie and Finch uh, store, oh my god. Actually, no, it was Hall store I used to work at. Jesus Christ, the store was super dark. They would spray perfume and cologne profusely all around the store, and basically the music was so loud that you couldn't hear any of the customers or your co-workers what a great place to work at and all the managers and the people working there were shallow and superficial and just really really conceited and pretentious people <laughs> it really was like that there was a couple of cool people that used to work there but my god i mean a lot of the people there was just like they actually thought they were models it was just a ploy to get people to work there Ah, oh, but my god, I digress. Good compilation. I think that some of these were pretty funny, actually. I think the Jimmy Cricket one was the funniest one. It was really, really funny. But did not break like I knew I wouldn't. Let me know if you guys broke. Dark humor compilation. Let's get it. You know what it is. Let's go. Ah! 
my morning scream. <sighs> ah, Heather's gone! Mom, is Brian going to be okay? I don't know, Meg, but this is the best veterinarian in Quahog. Brian's getting the finest care there is. He had to share the ambulance with a chicken. Um, aren't you supposed to be running around? Don't talk to me. You have a bad reputation in the chicken community. It's not all bad. I like having those Stelladoro breakfast cookies. Oh, I ate those. Sorry. Ah, oh, no problem, Brian. No problem at all. Hey, what do you say you and I do a little fishing? Oh, they're still doing the Godfather stuff. There's no school today. There was another mass stoning. Ugh, another school stoning. When will we learn? If only those teachers had stones, then they could stone back. Hello? Stone control? Sham, stones don't kill people. People kill people. With stones. I don't think the Founding Fathers ever envisioned stones this large. And it looks like they have medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. All right, Rupert, here we go. Well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. So that is something new about Stewie. Well, then you should go talk to her and try to clear this up. It sounds weird, but maybe it was innocent. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time you thought someone was hitting on you. Would you like to add chips and a drink? Here we go again. The wind wants my hand to go back, but I'm not letting it. I'm stronger than air. Oh, my God, Dad, you lost your hand. That's all right. I can regenerate. <laughs> My name is Retep, and I am evil. Oh, what's the matter, Stewie? You a little scared in here? Don't worry, there's no monsters. Of course there's no monsters. Or are you worried about what happened to that family down the street? Those three guys broke in, beat up the father with a croquet mallet, and then stole a baby, and nobody knows where the baby is now? Is that what you're thinking about, buddy? I am now. Brian Griffin? Uh, yeah, that's me. Here you go. Oh, God! <laughs> What's in the box, Brian? <laughs> I got you good. I don't feel right. I want it back. Oh, you were with Cleveland. Until further notice, <sighs> you can sleep downstairs. <sighs> oh, man. Wonder how it's going for Cleveland. Cleveland, get in here and pull your pants down. Uh, 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 at least turn me over to my backside. I can hear the jingle in my head. <sighs> Almost home. Oh my god! Oh, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Oh, thank god. Okay, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Oh my god! All right, we gotta take him down to dinner. I think he's okay to travel. I know we're not gonna do this, but at this point, I almost think we should just cut him up and flush him down the toilet. Why should I trust you? You're Damn. always tricking me into going places I don't wanna. Oh, you said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No, Peter, I said supported. By the way, don't go on the train ride. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got the results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. B but we told Chris we'd be there when he wakes up from surgery. All right, we were able to fix your hernia, but you've got to stop lifting sewer hole covers. But the Ninja Turtles live down there. I'm friends with them. Hey, fat ass. I brought you flowers. But stay out of the sewers. We're trying to work down there. Thanks, Donatello. Huh. I'm just gonna have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. <laughs> uh, 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 
Just a weasel. Bruce and Jeffrey love each other. They deserve to be happy. And so do I. Oh, Meg, don't make this day about you. Oh, Bruce. Oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Could be a doctor or an architect. Hell, you could even coach the Mighty Ducks. Oh, right. The championship is on the line. It's time for a formation they're not expecting. The Flying V? No. The Stinky V. Yeah, this is kind of a personal thing. Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? <laughs> 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 All right, where to next? I want to kill more scientists! I'm still weirded out from when I walked in on that masturbating Eskimo. Dinner time, Tickaloo. Oh, my God! Doesn't anybody knock? You should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Hey, Lois, if I was gonna kill myself, do I slip my wrists this way or this way? Sideways for attention, long way for results. Meg is right. Okay, I'll be in the garage. Hey, Dad, put that knife down. Lois, I don't have any friends, so I'm gonna kill myself and get a full page in the yearbook. Then they can't ignore me. Who's that? I don't know. So, Ben, do you go to James Woods High? <laughs> no, I'm a junior at the Meadows. It's a private school. Oh, do they do it so right at the Meadows. Class size is so small. And they really know your child. They care. Mr. Wiggins rested his thing on Jen Crosby's shoulder during a test. Yes, I'm told James Woods High leads the nation in teacher-to-student thing resting. Aye, Peter Griffin, sickly smoker. This is your heart. This is your heart on cigarettes. Any questions? Yeah, where'd you get that heart? Wow, my picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I've Peter. seen this. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing them in half. And we're here with their reactions. Sir, how does it feel to have the lake back? Well, I'll tell you, Tricia, as a local resident, I feel like I can once again take pride in my community. I think this is really going to revitalize tourism, and... <laughs> and if you look around, I think even the wildlife is starting to come back. And, you know, that's something we haven't seen in a while, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. Mr. Voorhees. I'm assuming there is copyright in this part. Holy crap! Huh? You marry Billy Joel? It's gonna happen one way or another. I haven't felt a rush like this since I won that marathon. I'm Bob Costas, here with Boston Marathon winner Peter Griffin. Peter, how did you do it? I'll tell you, Bob, I just got in my car and drove it. And when there was a guy in my way, I killed him. During his 22-year reign, the ah, French rest monarch, in peace, known Alex. as the Spider King, had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Well, if that doesn't suck a big black cock. Meg, I'm needed upstairs, so I'll let you finish up. Just put some blush here and here. It makes the eyes look a little less dead and hollow. Wow, that really works. Hmm, maybe I'll try that on myself. Oh, uh, you have what we call a closed casket face. Wow, Stewie, we're gonna work perfectly together, like Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Watson, a clue. The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. Amazing, Holmes. How did you know that? Just from, like, books and stuff. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps. Like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A Minor. And you still won't give us an Emmy? Come on! If Modern Family did that joke, you'd be carrying them around on your shoulders. Well, I pass with flying colors. Go ahead, do it. Do it! That's right. There it is! We have Family Guy. Deleted scenes, season eleven, part three, and four. Well, we better get back soon, cause I've got a French sex ed class to teach. Voici c'est une vagine. <laughs> 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 
Tais-toi, déterre, déterre, arrêtez cela, c'est là de vous, petit imbécile. So, what do you got going on this afternoon? I'm gonna see how long I can hold a plugged-in radio underwater. That's my little scientist. All right, you guys, I'm going out for a spacewalk. Peter, you can't do that. When you're in Idaho, you have a potato. When you're in space, you go for a spacewalk. I slipped into a wormhole and became a priest in the future. Peter, you were gone for two seconds. Two seconds your time, 20 years wormhole time. Quick, we must prepare for the coming of Zardan. Ladies, take off your tops and smear this gold paste on your boobs. Peter, stop being an idiot. Zardan arrives! Where are my sparkling breasts? I failed you, Zardan. Take my priestly heart and reflective robes. I am not worthy. You are not. What the fuck? Here's to our playwright Brian. All in all, exactly. I'd say it was a pretty good night. <laughs> you think? If, uh, if you ever need someone in a pinch, I did Into the Woods once. I was the woods. How did uh, he do me even a favor and drop that? this off at the Cape Chick. No, it's red with a big S on it. Jeez, you guys would not believe the day I had at work. Peter, what exactly do you do in that brewery anyway? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I do know I'm in the horse department. What, the horse department? In a brewery? Yeah, I got this picture of a horse over my desk. Bunch of numbers on it, I don't know. Last month I was in the barn department because there was a picture of a barn on there. Peter, that's a wall count. No, no, I don't think so. I looked ahead, though. Next month, they're promoting me to frozen ponds. Hey, guys, look over there. It's a real Indian guy. Wow, I never seen one in person. I only heard him on the phone. Hang on, I have a question for him. Excuse me, if I need to force quit a program on my PC, is it Control-Alt-Delete? Uh, yes. Yeah, I have a question. Um, in that Slumdog movie, was it awful when you fell in all that poo? Uh, that was not me. Yeah, I wouldn't admit it either. See, that's why Harvard, because he's smart. Okay, class, to begin today, I'd like to go around the room and see what's going on this weekend. See if there are any parties I can go to with you. Maybe if I could just give you a ride there. As a plus, I drive an edible arrangements truck on the weekend so I can bring fruit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think that's funny that I have a weekend job? I will fight whoever just left. What's this? An ad from Craigslist Misconnections? Saw you on the M4 bus. You were wearing an orange tube top. I was squeezing my crotch and my eyes were tearing. You gave me a look while they were dragging me off the bus. The fuck? Well, I was just hanging out with Mahmood and a bunch of his friends last night. Boy, they really seem to hate America Ferreira. What? Yeah, and they seem to know her pretty well because they only call her by her first name. I guess she, like, raped one of the guys for his oil or something? And I, I, I have some concerns about the bomb. Were you at the bomb committee meeting? Well, no, but... Uh, if you had concerns about the bomb, you should have come to the meeting. That's why we have a committee. Well, when you have a committee meeting on a Saturday... Maybe really? We'll... You want to do this now? Should I get the complaint committee? Yeah, it's all committees. Okay, Meg or Susie? Susie. Susie. Yeah, me too, Susie. You got a hot baby. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, it's given fiery halftime speeches at girls' field hockey games. Now, I don't know much about your sport, but I do know that when the first gross and stocky women picked up these flat sticks and started beating each other in the shins, they had a dream that was field hockey. Where's Coach Bradley? She drowned in another woman's vagina. What? Okay. All right, well, um, that was like... Okay, um, I think what was funny about that particular compilation was when they were all drinking at the bar and I don't know the guy's name that has like no hands and no legs, but just it's just the way he <laughs> When they were all doing a shot he picked up the, the shot class like this <laughs> Went down to his throat <laughs> That was pretty funny, but of course me laughing now does not count. All right, so Let's get into part four. It took courage for Brian to stand alone, and I respect that. I've often stood alone, in dark corners, or behind a dresser, or a box of toys. All right, you two, calm down before someone gets hurt. Too late! You all owe me money! Wow! You know, it's really cool to have another girl my age in the neighborhood. Shut up, Meg. She knows my name! 
Little heads up about the neighbor, Quagmire. That guy will have sex with anything. So, you know, tape up your fish holes. Thanks for the tip. Do you pee in that water and then swim in it? Yeah. You're all right. If you had my boobs and I saw you from behind, I would think you were hot. Thanks. And now is when you say the same to me. Wait a minute. Francine? From the Depeche Mode Tour 1984? Oh my god, Lois? You two know each other? <laughs> no, we don't know each other. You've ruined me for all men. Dad, why can't we all go? Well, Chris, in a twist of bad scheduling, today is the day I'm having 400 pounds of beef delivered to the house. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, they kill it in front of you. There you go. Now, as my patient, you may experience romantic feelings toward me. I want to assure you that's normal. Go to hell, Peter! You messed up my legs! Jeez, what's going on at home, Quagmire? Okay, all right, good job. Now, why don't you choose a song to sing? <laughs> ah, Katy Perry. Cleveland? Sorry, Lois. Things have been tough since they moved us to 7.30. Show is pretty bad. Safe! Safe! What the hell? He was out, you moron! Quagmire, calm down. It's just a game. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You're right. Just a game. Just a game, right? Who cares about our Saturday afternoons, right? Who cares that I leave work every Thursday at 4.30 so I can lug 17 bats to practice? Yeah, let's just make everyone safe! Let's make everyone safe! Uh, wait, see what he just did there? That should be the sport. Not baseball. Base throw. That's a really good idea. Hey, check out the gals over there showing their wrists. Now I know what I'm going to masturbate to next month when I take my small wooden bath. We interrupt this program for a Channel 5 breaking news report. Three local men have barricaded themselves in a Quahog bar and are currently in a standoff with authorities. We now go to exclusive footage caught by Channel 5's new unmanned drone. What the fuck? Well, that was $800,000. This is our bar. It's the cornerstone of our friendship. Dad, why are you watching me in the shower? Hey, Joe, uh, could you talk to someone about getting me back on the show? Hello, I'm Helen Dugan. I've brought a few items that my husband wished to be buried with. His prized bucket of squid. His favorite lit cigar. His favorite food. Piping hot cheese fondue around his neck. Ow! And, of course, the live badgers he bred for hostility and jaw strength. Oh, how he tormented these beasts. Rest, Edgar. Rest for eternity. The cheese is subduing the badgers! And the cigar killed the squid! I'm okay! The TV's gone? And they took the stereo? And they broke the vase that Meg gave me? That's messed up. That's oh, so God, messed my up. big envelope full of ticket stubs of shows that I've been to. Well, that's just great. Have I been to Kenny Loggins? Yes. Can I prove it? No. Oh, man. <laughs> when, he, when Chris was sitting in the uh, coffin and, like, this lady poured like hot fondue cheese on his neck. He was like, oh. <laughs> Wow, Jerome, the place looks great. Yeah, look at you owning a bar. You guys are doing pretty good. First, you get to run Somalia, now this. Well, it sure is good to be back in the old clam. Hey, there's some guys sitting in our booth. Maybe we should tell them it's our booth. Uh huh. Or, or we could just sit on the floor next to these garbage cans. White guys, scared of every race. Hey, boys, catch me if you can. Oh, crap, I didn't realize they had bikes. <laughs> what are they going to do when they catch me? Oh, boy, I got a back of the head punch coming. I just know it. Heel Farms. Yeah! 
house at Chung, eh? Come on, let's go, Brian. I'm gonna get revenge, just like I did against that pigeon that crapped on my car. Ah! That's right. Get it nice and clean. Daddy, I want to turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm going to do a big jump off. Ah! Get mom! 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 <laughs> ah, mom! Mom! Why did the sign say not an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door! <laughs> Turn to damn nature, you scary on BET. Damn, look at that son of a bitch go. He hauling ass. That thing come by my house, I kill it. <laughs> that little rat looking thing just got ate. Damn nature, you scary. Psychic, she can tell you what you were in a past life. I already know what I was a strawberry. Ah, it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! He was my neighbor, and he violated me! Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie! Hey, bra? Yeah? Damn it! Ah! There's glass in my eye! Oh! Son of a bitch! Ah! Mom says dinner's at six. She wanted me to tell people. I don't know why. Oh my god, Peter! Back it up! Oh, really, Lois? I thought I might drive forward. I thought that, that might be a fun thing to do. Stop fighting! Oh my god, quick! Peter, get in the back! Oh, thank God. We made it. Oh, oh, ow, my neck. You backed into me, and, and now, oh. And your back. And my back, my back, yes. Oh. I love you. Fuck off. What the hell? Hey guys, this is driving me nuts. Was one of the dwarves named Snappy? Kind of well dressed, or am I, am I just making that up? No, oh, 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 fuck! Fucking cut! Fuck! Cut! Cut! Oh my god, Dad! Dad, are you okay? Damn it, I hate these new stairs. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'll just, I'll, I'm just gonna fly here until the pain goes away. Peter, come downstairs. That gay show you like is on. Did you forget how to walk downstairs? crisis situation here. Kate wants me to meet her parents. Hey, guys. Just gonna... gonna take this from you. What the hell am I gonna do? All right, all right, just calm down. Calm down? We're all supposed to have dinner tomorrow night, and her parents are gonna see that I'm a dog. Yeah! Ow! Oh! Ow! Yeah, oh, fuck! Fuck! Fucking cock! Fuck! 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 Don't worry, Brian. I'll come up with something. <laughs> I ain't afraid to stand up to friends. Just ask Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That guy's Spartacus. Do it. Do it. Come on, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, you bitch! Ah! You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Oh, Mr. Harry. <laughs>
What's good everybody? I'm back at you with some more Family Guy Try Not To Laugh challenges. And now we have Family Guy Funny Boob Moments. Hey, gotta time this just right. One, two, three! Oh! Help! Somebody get this baby off me! Stewie! I'm so sorry. By the way, you call those cheap implants boobs? Those aren't boobs. They're lies! Come on, Brian. Meow. Brr, brr. I think you're dreaming. No, I'm not. Stupid cat! Oh boy, Sundays! I love you, Jesus! Oh, I love you too, fella. Hey, Jesus, can you do something for me? Sure, Peter. What is it? Kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Look at these big ones, ah! Uh? Is this calculus? I don't know. Man, what do you think these things do? Huh, guess it doesn't do anything. Well, that seems odd. Ah! Oh my god, Peter! You're me! Holy crap! Ah, oh, sweet! <laughs> <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. I don't, I don't know, Brian. Her shirt was kind of open. I was trying to get a peek down there. Anyway, I gotta go jump off a cliff. Peter, wait. Hold on. This is crazy. Damn it. Where's Peter going? Huh? Oh, for God's sake. Tonight, Channel 5 News is proud to welcome our new weekend weather girl, Misty Fogbank. Misty? Thanks, Tom! Well, we got a nor'easter off the coast, and when we come back, I'll tell you if you're gonna need your umbrella in the morning. Thanks, booby. Uh, uh, jug Jugsy, nipple, chesty, melon, uh, mammy, cleavage, sex. Uh, you know what? This is not gonna work. Uh, we, we need to bring back that gay guy. Like when you find out a buttoned-up librarian is actually super sexy. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> There's a dead homeless man blocking the card catalog. No, oh, I actually thought I was gonna win big and get that plastic surgery I always wanted. Oh my god, look at him! He's so cute! I'm small, so this is okay. Brian, you have found your look. That is the best cosmetic surgery in this family since Lois got a boob job. I don't know what happened. I told the doctor C cups. I told him something else. I think he did a damn good job. Okay, now we've used him too much. Shake your money maker! Oh my god, it's a chick! Ay Dios mío, una chica! Hey, wait a minute. This is an imposter, then this guy we're following never had cancer. Yeah, so? Well, you're a dog. Can't you just sniff cancer? No, that's just a myth we started so we could stick our snouts in girls' boots. Look out, champagne! Peter, stop! <laughs> oh, Lois, you're all wet. Here, let me jiggle you dry. <laughs> giggity, giggity, God, I've made a terrible mistake! <laughs> I think that was in. Oh, man. If this compil- I wish it was- this compilation wasn't so short because I think I probably would have broke if it would have kept going because the one that was the most funniest is when <laughs> they were in Chris was in class and he's like, I know the cheek the teacher was like, ra ta 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 ta. That shit was so funny. I wish there was a longer compilation though. This one was pretty good as well, but uh, definitely way too short. If you lost, go ahead and post where you lost that. So these Family Guy compilations have finally made its way to funny gay moments in family guy 
This will be a try not to laugh and a try not to grin challenge. Ugh. I'm ready for this though. Your boy is ready for whatever. Well, there once were two cowboys all alone out on the trail. And they discovered they could sleep with another male. Now they're having butt sex. Cowboy butt sex. Sodomy. There, buckaroos. Who's ready for some old-timey fun? I thought we could go down to the old swimming hole and swim in a hole. Ugh. That sounds lame. Wh whose hole is it I'm potentially in? Oh, Peter, I'm helping you kill that cop. Because I'm darker than you and the audience ever thought. What a twist. For five long years, orange was my new black. <laughs> if that's what it takes, I'll have sex with another man. Look, Daddy! Teacher says every time a bell rings, some gay guy's gonna have sex with another gay guy. We're gonna pull you out of that school. Ugh, this is gonna be a bigger disaster than Y2Gay. Three, two, one. I hope my dad's not watching ABC! I don't know, Joe. Sometimes the security's pretty lax. I mean, the last plane I was on got gay jacked. This plane's going to Miami! <laughs> Damn it! Baby Gren. Dracula in San Francisco. Ooh, well, that's why we have the lab. And it says this next one is the shocking reveal gay float. <gasps> oh, yeah. Is that another compilation? I had no idea. All right, everybody switch. What? A guy. But I made the rules, so I went with it. Yeah, look at all this luxury. It's like being in a gay guy's dream. Enjoying the view? It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. This has been the gayest vacation I've ever had. I love smelling me on your breath. Man, this place has everything. I bet you could even get one of those gay mailboxes. Hello? Hello? Right here? Yeah, just right here. Just go ahead and put that right in here. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Gulp. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. Oh my god, we did it! We struck gold! This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Rich and gay? Come here! First of all, believe it, baby. Second, uh, mostly hamburgers where the buns is jelly donuts, and drinks where hot dogs is the straws. Mm. Another milk stuff, <laughs> Look, I'm happy for the business, but drinking that on your knees is... it's putting a hat on a head. Crazy! I love all people! I love blacks, I love Asians, hell, I even love gay aborigines. He married so he could distract from the Diggum scandal. He won't get away with it. Ah, hmm. oh, Jasper, where'd you get these brownies? They're from a bakery in the West Quahog Gay District. I thought they'd help my depression. Oh, I can see why. Oh, my God. God, they pack so much fudge into these. And look at this, there's even a couple of nuts lodged in there. I play dandy balls and legs are spread and penis butt. Sounds kind of gay, Grandpa. It was gay, everyone was. But back then we were called pole fancies. It was real good old-fashioned grab the nearest tree and hold on for dear life gay. Not today's fancy featherbed thread count gay. People got hurt back then. That's gay. Yeah, it was pretty gay. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets, too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack-of-all-trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. My life is flashing before my eyes. And for some reason, it's all just the sort of gay moments.
entertainment available for parties. Musical entertainment available for parties. Hey, where are you drinking that Chardonnay? You should really watch your back. Wow, it's hard to believe Brian would betray me. I mean, he was there for me when I hit rock bottom. <laughs> See, Brian? That's a rock bottom. Thanks for being here for that. Now get out of here. We're about to drink some Chardonnay. Yeah, I mean, that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. Anyway, my brother Louis, he's, uh, he's a little off to the side, you know? Uh, foofy. Uh, up to the knuckle. He's, uh, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? <laughs> Mama! What on, Peter? Mama, Louie's not gay. He's, he's creative. Oh, my God, that was so intense. I feel more powerful than a it's lesbian's creative. Oh, sorry, ma'am. We don't valet motorcycles. <laughs> don't need to. Dear Lord. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're going to beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like that. Go to discreetcrepe.com, place your order, and within 30 minutes... Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. Oh, thank you. Mmm, strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. Now I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of, and I got myself a night. It's unfair to say that all politicians are liars, therefore Mayor West is guilty. Brian's right. I was a county alderman once, and I never told no fibs. I've been over backwards and forwards for them constituents. It's important to make sure everyone is happy, so I took a lot of polls. Yeah, gay stuff. Devin, do you have a cigarette? Sure. And here's a copy of my last movie. It's essentially Brokeback Mountain from the point of view of the horses. Hey, the sun's been up for an hour. Shouldn't we get riding? Uh, are they still sleeping? I don't know. I'll check. Classic. Think so, he man. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I punch you too hard? Yes, I suppose you don't know your own strength. I mean, look at your muscles. Oh, stop it. You're the one with the sick abs. God, my mouth is watering just looking at you. Yeah, that's right. You buy your kids ridiculously homoerotic dolls and then ask what happened? Yep. Your gay son is on you, buddy. Explain that to your god. Hello? Is anyone home? Hi. No. I can hear the muffled Mexican music. Look, if you guys don't shape up, I'm gonna rent this place to Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Ooh, this is nice. It's every bit as darling as you said. They're gonna fix up the place. And it's not so much that I want to kill her. It's just I want her not to be alive anymore. Uh, I, I sometimes wonder if, if all women are this difficult. And then I think to myself, my God, wouldn't it be marvelous if I turned out to be a homosexual? Hold the door. Great. It's that guy I only have one thing in common with. Hey, Peter. How about that gay encounter we had? God, every time with this guy. I'm going to take the stairs. Wow, oh, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good. Just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. Why don't you come up to my parents' house with us? The fresh air will help you relax. Mm, I know where I go when I want to relax. I know the guy that owns this place. What? I said I know the guy that... Oh, I'll tell you later. I love this song. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, this is amazing. You dirty girl. Peter, I haven't left yet. You sick whore. All right, all bets are in. Ooh, Rupert, bad idea trusting the Celtics. Worse than when I trusted Brian to pack my parachute. <laughs> Oh, man, this was a good one. But you know what, like, got me, though? And I was trying my best to hold it in. Was when, um, that one guy that's like, you know, he's gay on the show. He's always saying stuff like, um, in a very soft tone voice. Like, oh, no. Like, that guy. He was like, uh, 
he had a drink and it was a hot dog. He's like, ooh, this, t- this taste is pretty good. That killed me, man. And I was trying so fucking hard to not um, laugh at that. Then this one where the parachute one was really good. But then uh, when Peter, no, Lois, this guy that looks like Lois, went into the bathroom and Peter when it was already in there and they did some shit. <laughs> and they came out and he, she's like, you dirty whore. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> that was really funny. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Today, I have a reaction request from Action Maker. I really love your Family Guy reactions. I would like to suggest this video as it is hella funny and it will definitely break you. How dare you? Action Maker, how dare you even challenge the great JC? My track record speaks for itself. Well, this one is called Family Guy funny jokes about other countries okay it's about four minutes that's easy man if you want to send me something funny that you think that's gonna break me go ahead and post in the comment section below and you gonna be solely disappointed when I make it all the way through ah, India the most spiritual country in the world God is not here. Ugh, God knows what I'm gonna find in steerage. Bunch of drunk, fat, pie-faced Irish fools. Excuse me, have any of you seen a blonde teenage boy? Who's asking? Yeah, who the hell are you? And I'm the baby! High school's like Lord of the Flies. It's a social nightmare. And I hear Canadian high schools are even worse. Well, well, look who matriculated to grade nine. Someone wants to get into university. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry. Well, you're going to be sorry when we put you in the hospital for free, eh? I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> wow, that was super loud. Well, this thing is worthless, like my Palestinian alarm clock. Oh, yeah. And Italy before pasta. Hey! Oh! Vowel sound! They were always a ridiculous people. Well, at least I have a side, you neutral Swiss cowards! Oh, hey, Stewie, how's it going? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Gentlemen, it has come to my attention that there is a Chinese among us. Rest assured, he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale investigation into the genealogy records of every single one of our employees. This man will be found and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? We now return to Captain Central America. It worked! Gracias. What are my powers? Oh yeah, it's weird. You're like really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. What? No! You will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know which way the horse goes! Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me and where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that! Time for a good door, bad door! Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you lose chess! We now return to Ethiopian hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. Make me into a monster like those people? We'll give them a monster. Like when Godzilla attacked Haiti. Oh my god. So fucked up. Oh my 
God, they're even taking down a mosquito netting. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. No, Carter, I can't let you do this. I won't stand by and let you further ruin this terrible. <gasps> oh. 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 Made it. I made that. Hi there, I'm Peter Griffin, and you're watching PTV, where you get to watch your favorite shows as nature intended them, with all the sex, violence, swearing, and farts intact. Like the episode of All in the Family, where Archie got the Jeffersons to move. Time for you to move there, uh, Jefferson. Oh, Archie! I can't see out of my sheet! Eat it while you stifle yourself, we're supposed to be incognitus. And who could forget that classic episode of The Waltons? Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Pa. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Pa. Good night, Ma. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. Good night, John Boy. John Boy? Damn it, can't a guy masturbate in this house? Everything started with the Big Bang. It was a Saturday night, and God and his roommate, Chugs, were arm wrestling. <laughs> You're going down, man! <laughs> Oh, dude, that is sick! Yeah, undefeated! Oh, wait, 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 here, here comes another one. Quick, give me your lighter. We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Disney. Are the Jews gone yet? Uh, no. Put me back in. Consuela? Hey, it's Brian. I'm, I'm looking for Stewie. No, no, baby, Aki. I peed in your soup. Happy 15th birthday. Which, by the way, is not a special occasion in the normal world. Stewie, I've been worried sick. What the hell are you doing here? Brian? How did you find me? I used my nose, which I always forget about. Come on, let's go. No, I'm not going back. I can't. They're gonna be mad at me. I didn't tell anyone. You... you didn't? No, I didn't. I, look, I thought about it, and to be honest, it's probably my fault for leaving you alone in the car. And if you promise never to do it again, I won't say anything. Okay, I promise. My baby. What? I say let go of me. Consuela, we're leaving. My baby. Hey, she says it's her baby, man. Now get out of here. He's my baby, Ernesto. No, I'm not, I'm not a nest. Okay, this is so messed up right now. <laughs> I did not want to have to do that. They were very nice to me up until then. Hey, baby, do those legs go all the way up? Why, yes, they do. Ah! Oh my god, you're a monster! Come back! My legs are shaved like a little girl! All right. No, no, not all right. At, dot, buh, et, bet, bet. I, I knew that. Slow it down. Huh. It, pit, hit. Uh, come on, pal. It's my first day. Uh. At, fat. Oh, that's it, buddy. <laughs> One nipple. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two nipples. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three nip- Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. God, geez, what the hell, Brian? I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Message for Brian Griffin. <laughs> I lost my ass gambling. Have you seen it? Leave me alone, you jerk. Stewie, you gotta help me. Peter just won't let up with the nudity. Well, you know how the fat man operates. He won't stop unless he's stopped. The only way you're going to end this is if you find a way to even the score. You've got to be nude. Stewie, I am nude. I'm just covered with fur. Well, shave it off. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Maybe you're right. I mean, I gotta do something. And this is just one of those things he won't let up with. What? Hello? Cynthia, oh my god, so good to hear from you. Sure, I can talk. I'm just sitting out here in the open. 
My car? It's a Prius. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm specifically a hero for driving one. The heroes are the ones who come back from Iraq and drive a Prius. Gotcha! What the hell? Hey, you looking for me? Oh, God, what the hell is that? What's wrong? You look uncomfortable. Here, let me give you a hug. Yeah, get away from me, you gremlin! <laughs> Ah, no! Why don't you rub my belly, pal? Ah, 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 ah. Your skin is so loose and wrinkly. It's like I'm just pushing around a plastic bag full it's of It's disturbing. Ah, why do you have so many nipples? You gonna put your clothes on? Yes, yes, I swear. You gonna keep them on? Yes, I promise. I'll never bother you again with my body. Please, just make this stop. Good. Yeah, can you give me a ride to the... Yeah! What is that thing? I'm having to go away! What's going on in here? Oh, my God, is that a rat? Peter, hold it down. I'm getting it. A... Hi, Chris. Hello, Peter. You know, I was just thinking, when I was your age, my Uncle Roy shared a beer with me. I drank it, and I was so excited I fell asleep. I must have tossed and turned something fierce, because when I woke up, my pants were off. Never saw much of Uncle Roy after that. Turns out we weren't even related. Anyway, I thought him sharing that beer with me was the coolest thing ever. And I know nowadays things are different, so I got some crystal meth. I figured we could do it together as father and son. I don't know about that. Tell you what, I'll get us started. <sighs> that feels... That feels better. You sure that stuff is okay? All I know is the guys who made it are dead. Why is there no hole in this wall? You know, this thing is bugging me. All right, I'm gonna take a hike. So, you're gonna introduce me to your pals? That's Trapjaw, that's Optimus Prime, that's Destro, and that's a Care Bear. You having a tea party? No, we're working out a land deal. Trapjaw is trying to get a variance to build an unpermitted structure within 10 feet of Optimus Prime's property line. Destro is the city council <coughs> telling Trapjaw that he has to file it as an accessory structure, and even then it can only be built at the rear of the lot. And the Care Bear is just a Care Bear. I am so fucking ready. Old of books. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No. You think I, I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You do? Oh! Yeah. Hey, you think I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides to this. Stop looking so depressed, Brian. I'm sure one day you'll meet a girl who loves abortion as much as you do. That's not the point, Stewie. I'm just tired of every girl I meet being crazy. Oh, things will work out for you. Now, Thanks. Let's forget our problems and get lost in the world of books. Ooh, the very horny caterpillar. Wow. Did you eat through all that food? Kinda. Uh. Hey, Quagmire, you know you got Chris suspended from school for telling one of your dirty jokes. Oh, gosh, Peter, I'm sorry. You want me to talk to him? Well, no, actually, I, I want you to tell me the joke. Yeah, tell us the joke. You want to hear it? All right. So this chick meets a guy at a bar. And... P.S. Your vagina's in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I pooped my pants. <laughs> it's funny when it happens to other people. Yeah, that's the end of those underwears. I didn't know what to do, so I took them off and hummed them at the wall, and they started sliding down like one of them sticky octopuses. Disgusting. Pretty funny joke, you know, when you think about it. Your vagina's in the sink. <laughs> Damn it! Wow, he poops every time he hears that joke. <laughs> yeah, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he was laughing. <laughs> Get out of here, Quagmire! I just put on clean pants. Who's texting me? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Stop it, you guys! You're ruining all my clothes! Who's gonna wash him? Oh, that's disgusting. Wagmire, he's asleep. What the fuck?
when you poop in your dreams, you poop for real. Well, by God, Brian, we're murderers. I guess this means you'll be going to doggy hell. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of crazy things I'll let Peter get away with. I even held my tongue when he went through that anime phase. Hey, Lois, me make drive time to a super fun clam with noble quagmire and... Anime is fucking go. dope. Go force! Well, be careful you don't fall off that ladder. Not all dogs go to heaven. So, it says here you're involved in the plotting of September 11th? Well, that's what they get for supporting Israel. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Gosh. Okay, into the eternal pit of fire you go. Stella gang, what's good with y'all? We back with another Family Guy reaction. And it's gonna be, of course, a try not to laugh challenge, you dig? Let's jump into it. Peter, Peter Griffin. Peter, we need to talk. Who, who are you? I'm the real Santa Claus. Awesome. Okay, my first wish is for a thousand wishes. Yes. Hey, knock knock. It's Coach Herrera, you came to see Stewie? Yeah, I wanted to check in on this tough little guy. Tough little guy? It takes a real man to take a hit like that. Feel better, sport. How about that? Real man. See, I told you, Stewie. You're a big tough boy. Yes, I guess I am. Gas and sandwiches. Get your gas and sandwiches. <gasps> Oh, that must be Tom since I saw him in that car earlier. Tom, Tom, it's me. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh no, Myrtle! Where will I ever find another woman? Oh. Good luck. When are you gonna do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. What the hell? Why would she do this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that next video? Oh, Daughtry. I'm a mom, so I love this. Peter, look, calm down. We're just friends. He's just giving me a friendly massage. A friendly massage? Yeah, and what do you care? When's the last time you did anything nice for me? I ate that gross pasta you made. I might as well just tell you, Peter. I'm in love with Lois. I knew it the moment we kissed. Kissed? Hey, Stewie, thanks for letting me stay in your room. Oh, Brian, please. It's our room now. Hey, what are we gonna do tonight? Oh, maybe we should watch that movie about Freud where Michael Fassbender repeatedly spanks Kiera Knightley to orgasm. You saw that movie? Whoa. I saw that scene. Where a local business owner has apparently eaten himself into his own food truck. Oh. It appears they've finally removed the roof. Nobody look! This is a private gross matter! Uh, Mr. Griffin, is this uh, performance art or uh, some sort of political statement? Well, I'm kind of ticked about condoms and porn, but this is unrelated. Quick, Brian, I need your car. I don't know, Lois. You're not on the insurance, and I don't think it... Oh. 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 Fruit bouquet for Brian Griffin? Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah? Tell me why you don't have time. All right, I have time. And there's nothing pretend about this. Real tea, real milk, and the best honey you'll ever taste in your whole life. Hmm, you're still here. Did we? <coughs> what the deuce? Ryan! Ryan! Way to go, Fuck. Ray! Wow! Newcomer Meg Griffin is lighting up the track with some amazing moves! Amazing? Damn right amazing! Make some noise if you're mixing prescription drugs with alcohol! <laughs> Alright, Brian, let's begin. Great, let's do it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop! Demerit! What the hell? Where are your hands, Brian? Uh, on the steering wheel? Ten and two. All right, commence. Ipty, Brian, ipty! What? One, two, three, ah, oh, crap. 
One, two, come on! All right, this time for the world record. Ew, what the hell is that? It's a ferret. Look at it, Brian. It's like a long rat, like a living tail. Look at its feet. We're going too fast. We're going to crash into that lake. Oh, no, we're not. Ah! Oh, I've seen this. But don't worry, he'll be fine. He just needs to wear this brace for a while to correct it. Oh, dear. Now, does he have any school pictures coming up? Yeah, he actually does. Well, then, this will not be a refrigerator door year. Yeah, come on, let her play! Wow, 1980s All-Star Wade Boggs! Hey, would you mind standing next to a star of today? Sure. Man, what happened to our game? David Ortiz, will you pick him up like a baby? It's your weekend. <laughs> now, let me put this baby bonnet on his head and a cigar in his mouth. Carter, what happened? You look like you could use some help. Ah, my face! Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god. What did I let money do to me? What the hell is all this? I'm trying to protect myself from all those diseases I'm not vaccinated against. Speaking of which, do you have any idea the germs you routinely track into this house? From now on, I'm going to ask that you wear these shoes while indoors. Where'd you get those? Put them on and lick your lips. Stewie, you might be taking this too far. Proper hygiene. I'm pretty and I'm rich and I'm in love. Put them on, lick your lips. I've met the guy that I've been dreaming of. Me, Taylor. Wow, they hate it. Mr. Buell's taking a door open Duke in the bathroom! Actually, Stewie, I changed my mind. I made my own video and posted it. What? How could you do that? Stewie, I didn't want to do all that fancy stuff, so I just did a video of me speaking from the heart. You know, telling her how much it would mean if a girl like her went to homecoming with a guy like me. I couldn't even stay awake during that description. Ready for turkey day? <laughs> Clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Yes, Peter, but I... You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> It's a sexual fetishist who derives erotic pleasure from dressing in horse-themed leather gear. <laughs> Want to see me feed him a carrot? Absolutely not. Hell yes. Chris, this is no job for a teenage boy. You have to quit right now. I can't quit. I'm actually good at this job. Plus, I'm making decent money. You could work at the pharmacy. Quiet, Trisket. Ooh. Chris, there you are. More... We need to talk. What, are you walking a horse? Did Quagmire get a horse? Oh, no. Here we go. I want a horse! Peter, it's not a horse. Chris, what the hell is that? Oh, this is Mr. Quagmire's horse gim. What is a horse gim? Ooh, what do we have here? These uh, edits. Honey, like the sign says. I find your attitude cavalier. May I speak to your manager? Stewie, come on. I'm sorry, is there a problem here? I was just in the back and I heard a commotion. How do we have a back? I simply came here to inquire about Honey, and your employee spoke to me loudly and with profanity. Hello, Mother. I'm so happy you could be here tonight. Why happy? You know what for Channel 10? Just Channel 5. Only half as good. Mother, please. I I'm being honored tonight. What honor? Connie Chung, Mary Mori Povich, for media super team. Where your Povich? You have no Povich. It called. Damn it. It's bad. It's bad. I'll get Lois. She can take you to the hospital. No, she can't. Thanks to you, I don't have insurance anymore. What are we gonna do? I'll get the gun. No, oh, Stewie, you have to fix me. What? I'm not a doctor. Just look it up on your phone or something. Ugh, hold on, I've gotta update iOS. Stewie! All right, come on now, pal. Seriously, who are you really? I already told you I'm Santa Claus. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're Santa, then what did I ask for for Christmas when I was 12? Nothing, because it was the year you found that penthouse in the woods. <gasps> you really are Santa! Am I really heavier than you? I, I, I gotta, I gotta take control. So, I'm looking for money to open a small business. We plan to sell antique lamps, Ooh. handmade blankets, Ooh. and pitchforks. Yeah! Oh, Chris, I'm glad you're here. Swing that lamp at me. But you'll get hurt. No, I won't. I'm gonna dodge it. Ah! 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 Oh my god! Are you okay? 
Yeah, I'm fine. This roller derby's really toughened me up. I gotta say, I've, I've never felt better. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here he goes. Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I said it. <laughs> ah, we're all gonna die! Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud? When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I wanted to be a rock star. Why didn't you become one? Because of you, bud. I smiled at one girl in a cell phone store, and now here I am stuck eating cereal for dinner with a kid. You'll always be a rock star to me, Dad. You ruined my life. <sighs> okay. Um, this one was, of course, um, kind of like poorly edited. Um, I don't know why. I, I come across sometimes Family Guy compilations that have like really, really bad edits. Uh, whoever made this compilation cut out most of the good cutaways, so it only had just a couple of funny jokes here and there. Today we have new Family Guy, Funny Moments Part 2. Oh, I'm ready. I've been ready. I'm always ready! We now return to the Today Show with Matt Lauer sadly looking in the window. First up, Rachel Ray will be here to help us with a simple Christmas recipe. Can I come back now? Then Al will be in to get you ready with your Christmas travel weather. You guys still sore at me? We also share your best tweets about family visitors. I thought about what I did. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Please don't adjust your sets. I've been sneezing all over the camera. That's right, the flu epidemic has officially hit Quahog. So for the rest of tonight's broadcast, my mommy will be spoon-feeding me chicken soup. Mommy? Tommy? We now return to mommy? CBS This Morning with Charlie Rose sadly pressed against the window. Coming up this morning, Christmas came early for a group of first graders in South Bend, Indiana. You guys still cross with me? Now, to make sure you don't forget your chores, I made you each a list, and I want all of these completed by tomorrow. Sorry, I can't do chores. My trick elbow is acting up. Is that your card? No. Oh, boy, it's worse than I thought. Hey, guys, I brought a sneeze home from school. You want to see it? Ah, ah, no! Disgusting. But Meg has uh, superpowers and shit. Damn it! Who's secretly an X man? Okay, guys. Now, before you can shop at a strip mall, you have to uh, use a freestanding ATM that's chained to a pole and not affiliated with any known bank. Good. It's taken an extra long time to read the card and probably stealing the number. Select yes to pay $15 fee. No brainer. Perfect. Now I can't read the screen because the glare is so bad. And it's not giving me my card back. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Not anymore? Well, thanks for telling me. Is H back from lunch yet? Sorry, he said he was held up with a client. You were with M again, weren't you? What? No, I wasn't. Then why are you wearing a designer-looking shirt at a fraction of the cost? Maybe I wanted to get caught. I told you what I'd do if I ever caught you cheating. This is on you! Why? Why? What's up? I was just taking a pee. Someone call? Sometimes they let me write my own skits. <laughs> Well, that's one way to shop. Damn it, I give up. Paula Cole. Ah, oh, hate her. I should have known that. Look, there's a card in Nice Paper Store. Let's go walk around it slowly and let out tiny farts. Hmm, nice thick card stock. Ah, yes, that's a very bright white. Ooh, Century Gothic font. <laughs> Miss, this store is for tiny farts only. There's a lids next door for that sort of thing. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, man on second, Red Sox down by a run. Peter Griffin down to his last strike. Here comes the pitch. Strike three, and he knew it. Didn't even get the bat off his shoulder. Griffin will almost certainly be sent down to AAA Pawtucket. 
Strike three, and he knew it. Griffin will almost certainly be sent to double-A Bristol. Strike three, and he knew it. Griffin will certainly be sent to the dirt field where they filmed the sandlot. Strike three, and he knew it. Mr. Griffin, maybe it's time to try a different sport. I think Five so. Five seconds left. Celtics down by one. Griffin with a clear line to the basket. Off his foot and out of bounds. I am packing my bags and I'm out of here. You're getting divorced? No, I'm just leaving for a few days and ruining the Christmas. You're ruining Christmas by suing the city over holiday decorations? No, I'm just leaving my family for the holidays. You do eat deaf jokes? No, no one's doing deaf jokes. Well, I can't hear, so I don't know. See, not to eat them. What? I don't know. I think we... I think I think we are doing deaf jokes at this point. Boo! Boo! My sister can attach ventricles better than you. He's not Jewish. Come on, everybody. He's not Jewish. So how's this gonna work, Dad? You don't know anything about medicine. Oh, there's a lot more to being a nurse than medical mumbo jumbo. For example, what's the next holiday? Memorial Day. The next one. Fourth of July. Say Christmas. Christmas. Eh? Yeah? That's good nursing. Yeah, I agree with Chris. I don't think you have the makeup to be a nurse. You're impatient. Are you done? And you faint when you see blood. Yeah, I got over that. Pass the ketchup. Oh, don't buy a fainting couch, Stewie. No one in this house is gonna need a fainting couch, Stewie. Are you sure you want to delete the crown? Yes! Do you understand that it's really good? Yes! Are you sure? It will impress your friends. Except! You understand that we change the cast every season. Acknowledge! Come on, it's the crown, it's history. Don't care! You are not allowed to delete the crown. We now return to the crown. I actually kind of love it. Yeah, me too. Whoa, you picked me. I've been skipped and flipped and reached over so many times, I wasn't sure I'd ever get out. So what are you going to put on me? Jelly? Cream cheese? Maybe some nut butters? Actually, I'm just using you to squish a spider. Oh. Yuck, 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 yuck. All right, everybody go outside and kneel face first in front of Daddy's big pre-dug hole. Come on, Peter, we can do this. All right, plan B. I take two pills I got after my root canal and listen to records. It's been four days. Hey, Stewie. <sighs> it's been four days. What was that? Was that a cat stretch? Oh, my God, is that what that looks like? I mean, you said it. I guess that DNA report was right on the money. Nature over nurture. What are you... are you purring? Do you really think you're a cat? Yeah, no, I... I don't know. Okay, I, I just feel different. I don't care what that report said, you're not a cat. You're what's called a pretentious absorber. What's that? You remember how Madonna lived in London for like a month and then started talking with a British accent? It's that. If I weren't a cat, would I be obsessed with a scratch post? That's not a scratch post, that's Meg's leg. Don't stop! Stewie doesn't have a jacket on, but other than that, Peter's done it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're gonna get it. <laughs> you like it rough, don't you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong room. Sorry, we're excited. My wife just killed herself. What do we got? Suspected heart attack. He's not breathing. No pulse. It's I can horrible. save him, but we gotta move fast. Give me 20 cc's of music factory. Clear. Everybody dance now. Again. Clear. Clear! Everybody dance now! You did it! Great work! Don't thank me. Thank silly 90s songs. What do we got? Head injury. He got knocked down. <laughs> we'll get him up again. I need two milligrams of chumba and one of wumba. Cobra, party of one? Yes, that's me. And would you like me to bring your drink from the bar? Uh, yes, I have no hands. So what's your problem? <sighs> Okay, so I was at home watching Mrs. Fletcher. Mm hmm It's a pretty sexually driven show, and it kind of gets me going. Right, right. So I'm pretty revved up, and I decide to, you know... Sure. And I don't have a prayer of finishing unless I kick it up a few notches, like weird notches. Uh-huh. So I look over at my side table, and I see the Apple TV remote, and I think, well, that could work. Right. Before I know it, I've got six Apple TV remotes taped together and my foot behind my head. Got it. And just as I get everything 
you know, okay. Mrs. Fletcher ends mm. and Watchman starts, wow. which scares me, but now it's too late because everything's, you know. Oh, my stars. Uh, hold on a second. I got a text. I think he has some serious issues. Wow. What is good, everybody? It has been a minute since I've done a Family Guy Try Not to Laugh Challenge. But, you know, mainly it's because I've seen so many Family Guy clips already, so it's kind of hard for me to kind of look for newer content in the Family Guy realm. But I seem to have stumbled upon some clips that I haven't seen. So uh, we have Family Guy Middle of a Gunfight Dark Humor Compilation. And it says this next one is the shocking reveal gay float. <gasps> I had no idea. I like to roller skate. Ah, you're a roller skater. Good, good, good. If you don't mind, I'm going to use that. Here it is, a drawing of my little roller skater. Uh, it's good, but where are the roller skates? Ah, they're unopened down here in the box. Just like when I was a kid. Okay, who's next? Hey, little guy, what do you like to do? I like to play football. Ah, say no more. Wonder if I can get my old job back, painting kids' faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Oh, sir, you're gonna have to leave. This. You're just okay. drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. Give me all your money. Okay, okay. You have a white wallet? Yeah, just like Truman Capote. Who's Truman Capote? What a surprise. The muggers never heard of Truman Capote. There's a library card in there. Use it! Not like my great-great-uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding! Like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. Oh, faint. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. We now return to Game of Thrones on BET. I got a big ass coat, chair to sit in, chowder's cup of wine, and a midget. But I ain't going out there with all them monsters out there. Real fun, not entertain your wife's parents while your wife is at work fun. <laughs> Laura gets home at seven, so ten out of ten, I figured I would we watch can that. stare at our wine glasses till then. So, uh, so when, when do you guys think you're gonna die? I want to know whose cup this is! Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Thank you, sweetie. See what a nicer place this is when we all pitch in? Like Gary the No Trash Cougar says, give a lobbage, throw out your garbage. Spread the word. You really think that splashing magic water on Stewie will keep him out of hell? What's that kind of talk or you'll get your heathen head smacked? Oh, that's very Christian. Believe what I say or I'll hurt you. Now nah, you're getting it. A while it was an orphanage where the children sang desolate songs. We're too old to ever be adopted. No one wants a nine-year-old. Shut up, you bastards. Messed up. Looking good. Almost done. And there. Done. Nice. <gasps> what have you done? I painted the truth. I painted my truth. Your mother was a good woman, Peter. Thanks, Lois. I just... I just can't believe she's really gone. And I can't believe this funeral home has a skylight with a sinister clown staring down at us. Dad, it's crazy. Like JFK deciding to cruise through Dallas in a rental. How'd that convertible work out for you? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Good. Okay. And did you get all your stuff out of the car? Kind of. Oh my god! And to deliver the news to your teenage children, I've hired an EDM DJ. Your father's in a coma, 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 coma. He's gonna die. This is awesome! Yeah, I saw this guy playing in an H&M and I got his number. Uh, well, at least we're all here and we're all safe. Where's Brian? Oh my god! When we evacuated, I think we forgot him. It's okay, Lois. I left him chained up in the gully in the backyard. Guys? Guys? <laughs> Good Lord, nobody wants to be near me. This is lonelier than a Kennedy family reunion. Where is everybody? Oh, yeah, they're dead. 
Tonight, the conclusion of our three-part report on bestiality at the aquarium. But first, our top story, a local boy dies after playing video games for 51 hours straight. He was playing Halo, now he has a Halo. Just kidding, he was gay. My mother always hoped to be buried with her pet cat, Mittens, so I'd like to thank the Quahog Veterinary Society for putting Mittens down so quickly. Yeah, just, just go ahead and toss it in there. Pr probably, probably just stuff it in by the feet. Okay, I will now take questions from the audience. Hey, did you guys hear about that new kid? The emo Muslim? <sighs> Death to America. Meg, I got a feeling you're gonna be around for a real long time. But I wasn't around for a long time. A year later, my body reacted to a frozen hot dog, and I died of septic shock. I became the public face of internal hot dog defrosting. We now return to Joni Loves Chris Brown. Joni, Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No, thanks. I had some in the car. Joni Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. Oh, hey there, Chris. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope Cupid brings you a saggy old bag of treats. Hey, Mr. Herbert. I'm just here to collect for the newspaper. Here you go. Oh, hang on now, Chris. Your fly's up again. Thanks, Mr. Herbert. Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all gotta move on, like the Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm gonna turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. <laughs> Call that kissing a baby. Ooh. That's how you kiss a baby. Hey, you want to see a funny comic? Sure. That last one made me so uncomfortable. He's scared because his friends got killed in the pie. Trust me, you guys are going to get along better than Abraham Lincoln and his neighbor. Hey, Dale, I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. No one gets away until they whip it. I say whip it. Okay. Ah, whip it good. I'm doing my very best. <laughs> Thanks, that was way too much heat on my neck. And now, the History Channel presents The Guy Who Lived In Between the Hatfields and the McCoys. Joe. I'm just going to get my mail, and I'm not going to ask who killed my daughter. It's water under the bridge. I'm just getting my mail. God, look at Lois picking food from her teeth with her nail. Someone should tell her she's a pig. Mom, you're a pig. No, you're not supposed to actually do it. We were just talking here. Oh, now she's crying. That's not what I wanted. Stop crying, you bitch. Ugh, i got to get Brian back in the house. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. I forgot to make it look like an accident. This is where a homeless man ate the finger of another homeless man. This is where some teenagers beat a gay guy to death. This building used to be Irish. Now it's Cambodian. And this is where fake tour guides throw rocks and steal tourists' wallets. Oh, yeah, I read about this part on Yelp. We need to do the right thing. Like the dad from Small Wonder. All right, Vicky, time to shut you down for the night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it. Nah. God, this is a more disturbing sight than Tom Hanks and E.T. in Philadelphia. Ouch. There you go. You're good. You didn't touch me. I don't want to get AIDS. Look, th th this isn't us. This is just the no food and sleeping in a car talking. We can make this work. Like couples who meet on Craigslist. Oh, God. You're, You're not, not what you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over, over with. with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. Because there's a three-day weekend coming up, and I thought maybe you and I could finally go fishing like we've been talking about. Ah, oh, sorry, Chris. I can't. I got insanity practice. Ah! 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 Pinwheels! Pinwheels in my head! Voices! Angry fish! How's he doing? Not good. He still thinks this is practice of some sort. Holy moly, 
It must be my birthday. No, what's sick is making marijuana illegal when it's been proven that it does less damage to you than alcohol. No, what's sick is the plot of the movie Baby Mama. What happens when a 40-year-old woman asks her 41-year-old friend to carry her baby? Push, Angie, push, push hard. Oh, it's dead. That was really, really fucked up. What it do, everybody? What's good? I am finally back with some more reactions. Finally, I feel like I've been away from you guys for so long. Um, I finally got some time to do some reactions today um, before the work week happens and I have to be back on my grind once again. But thankfully, I have some time to do some more try not to laugh videos for you guys. Um, thank you guys for still supporting me when, um, you know, I just hadn't had time to really get to these reactions like I want to. I've been so fucking tired, y'all. So tired. Um, but I'm back. And I hope you guys enjoy these, these videos that I'm going to post today. So, um, yeah. We now return to Sunday Golf on CBS. And Mickelson here trying to save Parr. And there's Mickelson's wife. God, is she hot. Look at that wreck. There's a downhill lie for you. Oh, and they're just out there begging to be touched, pleading. How many golf balls do you think she can fit in her mouth? I'd hit that one in the rough if you know what I'm saying. Who are you kidding, Greg? You'd pork her for a week and then get tired of her. Yeah, you're right. That's what I do. That's my thing. But a hell of a week, though. Hell of a week. And I think I just got an idea. Wow. A much better idea than when I did magic for the blind. Is this your card? I don't know. Was it a red card? I don't know what red is. Ta-da! Kids, kids, kids! Shiny, gooey, stretchy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Sticky, yummy, bouncy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Fly it! Yeah! Toss it! Awesome! Swim it! Ah! Eat it! Whoa! Hasbro's best thing ever! Kids! Kids! Ah! It's so awesome! I want it! We now return to Superman 5, The Broken Condom. Hey, Lois, ready to go to dinner? Yeah, sure. Just let me grab my purse. Okay, ready. Ooh, on second thought, I got something I gotta do back on Krypton. I thought Krypton was destroyed. I think we should see other people. It's like listening to those two foreign guys down at the coffee shop who've been living in the U.S. almost long enough to sound American. Oh, man, what a good bunch of partying at that discotheque. They played one of my audience requests. Way awesome. I myself drank like five liters of beer. Any more and I would have ended up in hospital, man. Oh, you said it, friend. But I wanted to stay, because I almost had sex on this girl. Oh, yeah, but it was so expensive. Each drink was like $6.40. We now return to Harrison Ford telling random people he wants his family back. $6.40. I want my family back. Okay. Give me back my family. Get off me! I want my family back. We are gonna patrol the borders and keep this town as clean as a Jewish porno. I own four apartment buildings. Mm. I have central air. Oh. And a well-funded 401k. Oh, we are gonna have sex at some point. That son of a bitch! He's a killer like Bernie gets! You know, the subway vigilante from the 80s? I, I, I used to do a bit about him back when I was doing stand-up. Ah, what else is in the news? Oh, 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 Bernie Getz. You, did, you hear, did you hear about this? The, the, this guy, Bernie Getz, shot a bunch of muggers on the subway. Wouldn't mind having him with me next time I go see my mother-in-law. No, but really, New York City's a great place to live if you're a cockroach. You suck! I know. I got no money. I couldn't even afford to get my hair cut yesterday. That'll be five dollars. Sorry, lost my wallet. But I already cut your hair. Oh, well, guess there's nothing you can do about it now. That son of a bitch. Brian, you have got to get Dylan under control. He's terrorizing the whole family. Yeah, you wouldn't if believe only. what he did to Meg yesterday. He made her watch the other 178 hours of Monty Python stuff that isn't funny or memorable. I have a pet hedgehog named Zippy, and I shall walk her to town. And each time my foot hits the ground, I shall say, boing! 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 I'm a girl! I don't even like the good Monty Python sketches! And I'll stick to that story even if nobody believes it. I'll tell you what nobody believes in. Ghosts! 
Where did Robinson Crusoe go with Friday on Saturday night? Ha! Ah, damn. Play me off, Johnny. You're probably wondering why he's in hell. Johnny liked little boys. Sounds like you need I was just about to say that. Where'd you get that kind of money? I picked up Chris's paper route. Gosh, gosh, my gosh, it's a brand new paper boy. That's a mighty full sack you're carrying. Piss off, you perverted old freak. Oh, we got a fighter. Sometimes I feel more useless than the head of the maids' union. And what exactly are your demands? We need more lemon pledge. You need more lemon pledge? Yes. We're not responsible for that. You should just bring it from your own home. No. I am gonna kick him out of this house faster than NASA kicked out the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screening. Okay. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. Coming this fall on Fox, a new reality show. Who wants to marry Corky from Life Goes On? You won't believe what happened. See, look, Maggie just walked out on you. He's a bad man, like Jody Foster. Oh, no, Jody, it's my husband. He's home from work early. Don't worry, baby. He had to find out sometime. Now you're talking, Angela. This country needs more immigrants Fuck. like my cousin Peter the Pig needs a new house. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? I said I wouldn't do that. I said, knock it off. Why? Because I just made stool in there, and if you blow it down, the whole woods is gonna stink. Do you understand? Do you understand me, sir? I had another date. You know, I'm glad you're finally putting yourself out there. Lois would have wanted you to move on. Yeah, only this one was kind of awkward. My date was a stick figure. So, I, how would this work in, in bed? Well, I can't do sex, but I can give you a stick job. That, uh, that sounds... Yes, it is very unpleasant. My parents are not gonna like this, Peter. You know, they're still angry at how you behaved at our wedding. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am gonna destroy her. But the freakiest was that date I had with Barney. Peter, you don't know how badly I need this. I don't know, Barney. It's it's just a little weird. Joe's a friend of mine. No, it, it's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm not sure. It's okay, Peter. <laughs> Tonight's movie presentation is brought to you by Sanka. <laughs> don't you wanna wanna Sanka? Don't you oh wanna wanna God. Sanka? Don't you wanna wanna Sanka? It doesn't keep me up at night, but it helps me poo. The only job I could find was phone sex line, and I sucked at it. What am I wearing? <sighs> uh, a hat and glasses. What kind of underwear? Um, I don't know. Big underwear, I guess. I'm sorry. What? Oh, what would I do to you? Well, um, I guess maybe we'd get pizza, and we could watch House. All right, I am totally flaccid, but thank you anyway, ma'am. I appreciate your time. We now return to busy business lady whose life is missing something, but she doesn't realize it because she's so busy with business. No, no, I cannot make that business meeting. I've got a different business meeting at three, and we'll be doing business there. I was wondering if you're free for coffee. Oh, no, I can't. I've got a lunch meeting, and then a meeting after lunch. After that... Shh, shh, shh. Over the next 90 minutes, I'd like to show you that all your problems can be solved by my penis. Man, I can't believe I lost this shit. <laughs> it's okay, Peter. What the fuck? What's good, everybody? I'm back at you with another, another, another Family Guy Try Not to Lab Challenge. Sorry about my messy bed. I literally just rolled out of bed, jumped on my desktop, and said, hey, it's been like five days since I made a reaction video. Let me go jump on this thing, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Scarlett Johansson and for some reason, Steve Buscemi. Man, look at that Steve Buscemi. Every one of his teeth is in business for itself. You know, Steve, the art director's job is never an easy one. 
That's right, Scarlet. But this year... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to the Elton John party. What the hell? I told you we were staying for the governor's ball. And I told you, Tim, we would see how the evening plays out. Ah, <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. Oh, I welcome fingers. your arrival, because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Well, it's a long shot, but so was the shouting Arab Graham business. From Joan and Keith. You've got to be aggressive. Even more aggressive than Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. I've seen this one too. Those are the same one. Thank you. There's one person I really want you to meet. Thank oh, you. yeah? Who's that? The American people may have turned against the war, but I answer to a higher power. I answer to the power of Jesus Christ. Oh, well, uh, that's funny because I happen to have Jesus Christ right here. Uh, I heard what you were saying. You know nothing of my work. How you ever got to be president of anything is totally amazing. Boy, wouldn't it be great if life were like this? We now right. return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. Which means I've got to get a job. Otherwise, we'll be in worse shape than morbidly obese Albert. Hey, morbidly obese Albert. We brought you some chocolates. Oh, I can't eat those chocolates on account of my diabetes. Remember they had to take my foot? Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. All right, maybe I'll have one. Are you kidding? We'll go together better than Hannity and Combs. <sighs> My problem with liberals, Alan, is that liberals hate America. Sean, I don't know if that's true. You just contradicted me. You hate America. If I could just get a word in. You hate America. You like the terrorists. Well, I guess you're right again. Well, Brian, looks like you're the odd man out, like a non-praying mantis. <clears throat> Bless us, O oh Lord, for these gifts we are about to receive. Help us to be mindful of all our blessings and... Come on, let's head home before Stewie gets hurt, uh, like Fozzie Bear when he went to Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's good to worship Allah, because I used to worship Summer. Waka waka. Uh, I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. Ha! Huh, your kid got beat up by a baby girl. Oh, man, this is more painful to watch than when Family Ties does a Tina Yothers episode. Jennifer, what happened in school today? I got my period. And I will see the Keaton family next week. Well, we can't just leave Mort back in time. That'd be more irresponsible than silent movie porn. You're a handsome woman. Who calls a woman handsome? suffered a fatal heart attack from the excitement and I disposed of it properly. What's going on here? Oh boy, I miss the old days when it was just a flaming bag of poop and a hurtful note. Well, I did write for my college newspaper. Yeah, didn't you do an interview with that fast-talking FedEx guy? Yeah, I ended up dating him for three months. That's a beautiful shade of lipstick. I bet you enjoy the music of men at work. You're incredibly foxy. Take off your shirt, take off your pants. Wow, what a body. That feels good. I'll give you a call. You better get tested. Peter, better it's get been tested. eight hours, and I haven't heard back from Cleveland or Quagmire. I even tried Joe. This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Without me, my wheelchair is useless. Without my wheelchair, I am useless. Shut up! Okay. Lois, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin this like you're ruining kick cereal. 
Mmm, this kick cereal is good tasting. And it's good for you. Nah. Oh boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Right. I, uh, I misspoke. <laughs> Cents for this ticket. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. God, could he be any more annoying? Oh, hey, it's Tom. Tommy! <laughs> hey, hey, I hear you took that black chick home. Hey, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I hear you took that black chick home. Hey, you're welcome. Wow. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, some of these clips I've seen already. Actually, those some of those um, clips have been in other compilations, but um, made it all the way through again. I did that thing, man. Um, um, but this compilation was all right. I don't know if this was this wasn't you know the last one I did wasn't even that great either. But I don't know. I think the the one I did that was called the best of Family Guy was pretty fun that one actually broke me but this one was you know uh, I don't really know about it but um I made it all the way through for some reason completely random thought but um the I think I've always 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 been so fucking like terrified of uh well I used to be I used to be so fucking terrified of like praying mantises because of how they looked and I was like so traumatized as a kid when I was younger because um, I don't know what it is about a praying mantis but it's just the way they look at you the way that their eyes look and it's like what the fuck is that thing it looks like a fucking alien but whenever I see a praying mantis anywhere it's like I'm just like oh it makes my fucking skin like crawl I don't know what it is with them but I fucking hate bugs especially praying mantises but Yo, what's good, everybody? I'm back on your ass with some more Try Not To Laugh videos. You feel me? And this time, we got some more Family Guy. We got some more Peter Griffin. <laughs> we got all that stuff going on, man. So this time, we got Cutaway Compilation Season 8 Part 3. He seems great. We're getting along better than Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. You want to smoke, smoke some crack? crack? Oh, I love, love you. Get the f crack! Hey, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh my god, yes I can. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! They built a perfect robot teen idol. Yes, assuring that she could never fail. Like famous duelist Sir Henry Giant Hole in the Torso Wickenshire. Right through me! Prepare for returned fire, Sir Joseph Broadfront! I give you one last chance to rescind your insult of calling me a common dandy! Never? <laughs> of course not! <laughs> yes, yeah, a side step. for you! An animal killing another animal? That happens all the time! Hey, sweet ass. Last night was fantastic. Kello? Where'd you go? Meg's dating a convict. Uh, looks like Consuela's son is in prison. I see you soon, Rodrigo. See, si, Mama. Is all she Americans do is everywhere claim? face their last day on Earth. One can only imagine how they're spending it. Hey, Mort. Now that the end of the world is here, I just wanted to say, no hard feelings, huh? Psych! Ha ha! Embedded in the hand. Have fun where you're going. Yeah. Oh, not as a stink as I fought it. Cause sometimes I can suck them back up. I think we can make up some of these losses in the third quarter. What was that? What was what? Oh, nothing. I thought I smelled a fart, but now I don't. I'm not crazy about your tone, Brian. Well, I just think you're being taken for a ride, Lois. Like a snail on the back of a turtle. 
Slow down! I want to get there, but I want to get there alive! Boy, this is fun, eh? Except for the fact we gotta sit next to that woman who came with her co-workers. Huh, aren't we all pals? I work at the office. This is empowering. Maybe I'll get a dance, huh? You guys are probably gonna be talking about this forever. A woman who's so cool with all of this? Jackpot! Well, you'll have to do a better job than you did on your science test. Or than God did when he left the iron on Ellen Bracken's face too long. Oh, damn. How is it? You know what? We'll put you in the 80s. You'll pass for hot. Now get in the van with Kelly McGillis. Next stop, Hollywood! Hee-haw! Hee-haw! That's so messed Don't up, Don't worry, man. Rupert. I know how to get him out of his funk. Poor bastard's more upset than I was when I read Curious George goes to his gym coach's apartment. Monkeys aren't supposed to drink Chardonnay! He's tricking you! Get out of there! Well, thank you so much for your help, Mr. Putin. Would you Disgusting. like to see Russian cutaway gag? Yeah, sure. Here is Russian cutaway gag. <laughs> no, I don't know. What was that? It just feels like I'm lying to PETA. Like Jesus lied to the meek. All right, Jesus and the jocks win again. Hey, you said we were going to inherit the earth. Yeah, when we're done with it. Yeah. I haven't been this since I. I I don't I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, uh, but oh, there's track star Wilma Rudolph. Obviously, she had something to do with the gag, but I didn't hear the setup, so I don't really know the context. Hey, I wonder what Peter's up to. Hi. We here at Family Guy want you to know that we respect all living beings and assure you that no animals were harmed in the making of this episode. But we're about to hurt the feelings of this Italian opera singer by prematurely dropping the curtain on his performance. Figaro he, Figaro la, Figaro he, Figaro oh. Ooh. Mmm. Made it. Made that shit. I told you I would. Yo, what's happening, everybody? How we doing? Um, I am back in the booth. Um, I've been busy. I've been so, so damn busy these last, like, five days. I started a new job, and, I, and it has me working at 2 a.m. to, like, 10.30 in the morning, so... As you can kind of tell, I'm a little tired, but um, I'm back on these reaction videos, you feel me? So um, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go back home to visit my parents on Thanksgiving, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do, and the hustle is real out here, man. So, But I'm back with some more Family Guy, all right? We got Family Guy Cutaway Compilation Season 10, Part 2. Where is this girl? Where is she? We keep girls upstairs. I hope you burn in hell, along with the guy who came up with stuffing a turkey. Hey, who wants to try some of my butthole bread? Oh, careful. Watch out there, Brian. Looks like the floor is wet. Excuse me, I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I've been a little distracted lately. I think my wife has been crossing the street with Shit. a man. God, I hope Alan doesn't find out. Hey, forget that, klutz. I am going down to that rally tomorrow, and I am joining the tea party. Oh, wait, that's the same time as my men's knitting club. Although they have been really critical lately. You're still not knitting honestly, Peter. You're, you're knitting like you want us to like you. It's not coming from inside. It's very superficial. Thank you! You've made my decision easier! Yes, that! Knit that! Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! 
Horrible. Man, getting rid of the government has been the best thing to happen around here in a long time. That's right. Without government, I'm free to take a lot of mescaline and drive to Vegas. Wait till you see Debbie Reynolds on stage. Yeah, and now my Spanish teacher and I can finally hold hands in the halls. Meg, donde esta la biblioteca? Because I'm gonna bang you in the biblioteca. Cut away, sir. Hey, is that good then? Friends, family, and characters random. To bring you joy and laughter in tandem. To divert and dazzle is our intention. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our invention. Oh, I love summer. Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hiroshimase! Hajimemashite! Here comes our black guy! Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. So, do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something? Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe, I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. I faked my death and went AWOL! <gasps> I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Learn to live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! We now return to the Super Friends Accountant. Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? We're the Super Friends. Yeah, but you guys have no income. You owe $4 million in back property taxes. We fight evil wherever we find it. Well, that's not gonna be enough. Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. I hear. We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. Oh my god, that is real. No, total Th That's oh, totally real. That's that that totally real. That's 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 totally real. Why would somebody fake. make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? Hey, anything's possible, right? I mean, I once found the Bat Cave. Look, you can't expect to hire 60 workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation worthy. She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey, hey, get out of here. This is our yard. You don't belong there. Don't you touch anything. I told you all this yesterday. <laughs> We now return to Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, edited for goats. I roamed for all eternity in the center of a dead planet. Buried alive. Buried alive. Thanks, Quagmire. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! Uh, hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! Right. yeah money! Woo! Woo okay. Mmm, mm -mm. no.
Another one in the books, people. Another one. Another one. And another one. The Family Guy Cutaway Compilation continues. We move it on, people. We move it on to Cutaway Compilation Season 10, Part 8. Popular game show. Wheel of Politeness. Do go ahead, then. Oh, no, you first. Wouldn't dream of it. Too kind, really, I insist. Wouldn't be proper of me. I appreciate your courtesy. Likewise. Well, we're all out of time. Join us same time tomorrow if it's not entirely inconvenient for you. If so, of course, we do understand, and we do apologize in advance. This has all been an imposition. I'm so dreadfully sorry. 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 Sorry, everyone. Lois, it just sounds like busy work. It is busy work. I'm trying to keep you off the streets and off drugs. I'm selling those candy bars. Hey. Hey, 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 you want to buy some candy bars so we can get some new uniforms for our baseball team? Where'd you get those candy bars? Happy birthday. You're the coolest. Well, then what are all the cars doing out there? Oh, they must be from Mort's party. Okay, the first rule of Jewish Fight Club is if somebody says ow, you stop. Ow. Okay, let's see. During his 22-year reign, this French monarch, known as the Spider King, had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. She is. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Tonight on NBC, shapes. <laughs> and then, colors. <laughs> Followed by an all new, Dad's Keys. If he even lays a finger on my family, I'll do to him what I did to the Riddler. Could be some sort of lookout who spots girls fresh off the plane. Yes, you're probably right, Brian. Such scum. Bet they target young girls the way army commercials target minorities. Hey, other black guys, it ain't so bad. Well, you just think you're so superior, don't you? Like that first creature to walk on dry land. So true. Hey, where'd you go? I went for a jog. What's a jog? It's a great way to stay in shape, is what it is. Is it like a swim? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, it's it's nothing like a swim. Ah! Oh no! You cut your forehead! What do we do? Hey kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Then get some sleep and wait for the body to heal itself. Now we know! And like I always say, remember, you know enough. G.I. Jose! Looking back on it now, I don't think our lives are so bad. Yeah, I sure do miss Lois and the kids. I'll tell you one thing, when I get home, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Hey, I'm gonna plug in the nightlight if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to not do that. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think of. Besides, you know me. I'm into a lot of different stuff. What, did you hear something? Nah, it's all good. All right. Hey, Peter, what are you going to tell Lois when she asks where you were tonight? Don't worry, I got it all covered. <laughs> this is awesome! And Peter has no idea! Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. Come on, to the Peter Dactyl. Oh no, now I gotta take care of the babies. Disgusting. My picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing him in half. 
Geez, every cop in town is here. I know. Who do you think's taking care of the city? No. 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 What the hell? Come on! No drive. He's wet. Ah, we'll be all right. Hotel in Amish country can't be any worse than staying in a youth hostel. Hi, I'd like a room. Uh, preferably one where I have to sleep with my bag taped to my body. Uh, we have one where some Italian backpackers have laid out every item of clothing they own on all of the beds. Oh, perfect. Will my bunkmates be constantly talking about me in a foreign language? Yes, they will, sir. Oh, great. Uh, also, I'm gonna have some mail delivered here, and I want it to sit in that box for four years. Oh, and what street is the bathroom on? I don't know who's crazy. Are these people are those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember him by going to church and praising him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? Hey, that was some good teamwork, Brian. We were like Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to tip over canoes. Ugh, these rapids are treacherous. We should reach calmer waters by nightfall. Uh-oh, earthquake! Hey, come on! Careful! Damn it, why is he still with us? I know. Until now, walking to the other end of the United States seemed like such a good job. Hey, do you think maybe you'd want to hang out sometime? What, you mean like a movie or something? Yeah, or, or maybe lunch? I had a bad experience last time I went to the movies. We're good friends, aren't we, Milo? We're best friends, Otis. No! No! I reject the premise of this! Oh, son of a bitch, I gotta spend the rest of the day watching stupid kid shows? I'd rather watch paint dry. Really? Nice. Hey, don't be so surprised. I've been pounding the pavement for you, buddy. I even gave out all my business cards. Call me! 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 Ah, show business. Oh, we did it. Your plan worked, Joe. I told you those guards would turn away. Yeah, Joe, that was amazing. That was easier than taking candy from a premature baby. I'm, uh... I'm just gonna take this. Oh man. This one was definitely funnier than the last one, but um I tell you that one with uh, the military ad where the guy was like, um <laughs> hey, other black guy is not so bad. <laughs> that one was pretty funny too, because I know that it's like it's relatable because I know that um a lot of those military ads do do that shit to minorities. That shit is funny as hell. Um, the other one that was pretty funny was um, probably the one where he's like standing on top of the Hollywood sign and he's like, call me, call me. That shit was kind of funny too. But um, I don't know. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another saga. Another series another string of try not to laugh videos with family guy this time we got season 16 all deaths kill count this video is not gonna be funny okay i don't break i am the king of try not to laugh vids you write that down you take a note you put it on your wall on your refrigerator and every time you go next to your refrigerator you'll say okay JC does not break for nobody, okay? Let's jump into it. Please, don't. Why won't you die? It's like a Breaking Bad episode. I got that wow. coming. I'm going to anthropology. 
I'll just ask them for something so ridiculous they'll have to check in the back for it. And then I'll sneak into their ladies' room. Yes, I'd like a $4,000 ping-pong table that's shaped like Easter Island. We have one right over there. Okay. How about a telephone that's made of vintage phone book paper and doesn't make or receive phone calls or work in any way? You mean like this one right here? Right, but what if I wanted... Sir, sir, there's nothing you can possibly imagine that's strange or useless enough that we don't have it here at Anthropology. I know one thing you don't have. Black customers. Ah! I'm melting! Ha-ha! <laughs> to the ladies' room! Wow, look at him go! You know, just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes... Holy sh Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, what? What? Just, there's almost nothing left of him! And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, these two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Yeah, I have dibs on whatever silliness Peter loses interest in. Remember this? To the Cleveland Copter! The mustache obscures my view! <laughs> no kissing, under bed. I'd like to know what episode this is. What the hell is going on? Is that the the lion sword from Thundercats? Shit. Peter, you can tell I'm different because my weapon is different. Oh, well then maybe I won't be able to chop your head off. Oh, yep. This must be from Kill Bill. Oh, this was on like Fox? This is so I'm surprised the music makes violence classic. so like bloody over there who's clearly in the middle of a movie montage. Oh, he found it. He's gonna win the case. Oh no, it was a 70s movie. It was 
I joke. This is the best thing to happen to me since I became a wise cracking fourth wall breaking superhero. Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning. Red Stool. Anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Anus. This violence juxtaposed to music. Anus. Decapitation is. Got a gun! Look out, Stuart! Holmes! God, this is gonna be so annoying. Watson! The scepter! <laughs> ah, lucky shot! There was no luck involved. From the angle you were aiming the gun, I extrapolated the path of the bullet and triangulated the deflection point. Uh, is this... is this speech for me? Because he's dead. Damn. Hmm, this is most curious. It appears she was killed by our old nemesis, the Scottish Brute. Sherlock Holmes! He said you'd never figure it out, and that he'd be victorious! <laughs> Constance! Ah, oh, dip at you! Ah, I was just doing my duty. Just like you did. Good job, soldier. Anyway, what matters is everyone's okay. Thanks to the Coast Guard, because when you're here... I'm not going back to that restaurant. Now that we're eccentric rich guys, we're going to go down 20,000 feet and pants James Cameron while he's excavating the Titanic. <laughs> there he is. This is going to be so great. Boy, the clam sure looks different. Yeah, just be careful with your collars on the way in. They're kind of sharp. beers for the table why did yep, this one to. come on man don't make me look up from my phone oh you're texting me i'm so disappointed in myself for losing this challenge oh no hammer you, call 911. You, give me your shirt to make a tourniquet. You, snap a pick. Clarendon filter. Clarendon! Hammer, stay with me, buddy. Peter, if I die, chop my body up and serve me as street tacos. <laughs> uh, hello. Peter, I have a crazy idea. Let's get a cab. There's a taxi stand. Dead. 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 Barely alive. To the airport. The result? I've rediscovered an old hobby I used to love as a kid. Ventriloquism. And I wanted to invite you guys to the opening of my new show at the Quahog Playhouse. Quagmire, we'd be delighted to attend. Wouldn't miss it. Gosh, thanks, Peter. That means a lot. Okay, see you there. Damn it! Why did I even open the door? Ah! Getting excited. <laughs> ah, bite me. <laughs> Laughing already, just thinking about it. <laughs> Only one way to get out of this. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good one. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, I, that last one is so relatable, too. It's so relatable. Like, there are times where I don't even want to go anywhere. I'm just, like, talking to myself, like, you know, why the hell did I say that I say that I wanted to go to this stupid event? Anyway, uh, I can't believe I broke on that particular scene. 
The one that nearly, nearly got me was when Cleveland got into his own helicopter. And by the way, I didn't know he had his own helicopter. I thought Peter was the only one who ever did that sort of thing or had his own helicopter. But when he was flying it, he was like, the mustache obscures my vision. And, <laughs> and he like, basically crashed. And that shit was so funny. That was probably like the toughest of the toughest family guy reactions I ever had to do in this whole entire like channel. Damn, nobody's safe, huh? Family guy special people jokes compilation. I can't lose this challenge now. If I lose this challenge, then I'm going straight to hell. This is gonna be really fucked up. I already know it. I will vanquish another Family Guy challenge. You mark my words. Jeez, what the hell happened to him? We used to be so close, but now we seem so different. Like a whale and his developmentally disabled brother. Hi, guys! Get in my mouth, you hundreds of fish! This family believes in the Easter Bunny. He died for our sins in that helicopter crash. Now, if you want to go to hell, that's fine. But don't drag the rest of us down with you like a mentally handicapped rooster. Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! Oh, yeah. Good night, everybody! Angus was born with cerebral palsy, and his only wish is to one day become a famous heart surgeon. All I want to do is help people. Child of the Month, Angus Reed. Good luck with your dream, Angus. We believe in you. What a weird little guy. Thanks, Joyce. How old do they usually live to be, by the way? Well, you never see a gray-haired one. Hey, Damn there it. he is! It's Brian Griffin! Damn it, Randy! You just spilled my juice box! Damn it! Oh. Here's your award! I made it all by myself! Thanks. Hey, Brian! Smell my finger! I, 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 I already can. You're not going to sit with me. Oh, come on. If I don't, I'll get stuck next to that guy with the heavy hands. Hi, doggy. Mm. <laughs> Serves you right. And a baby. Mm. Yeah, except for having to sit next to that screaming autistic lady in the waiting room. I don't know what you want. I don't know how to help. Hey, can we join you? Uh, I'm Ken. This is Pam, and this right here is Scott. We really want to thank you, God, for testing us. It's been such a blessing. Can't wait to see what that bigger plan is. Well, I can't tell you that, but the good news is this little guy's going to make it to 74. And the reason I'm wearing this mask is because we've got a Make-A-Wish kid in the studio tonight who, as you'll find out as the show goes on, is quite a coffer. <coughs> see, that's, that's what I was talking about. <coughs> No, no, you have to spray it. You can't just wipe... Look, you know what? Let's just throw the whole camera out. Okay, Joyce, you talk now. I, I don't even want to open my mouth. Let's be cheerful, because Thanksgivings are very hard for them. Because Joe can't walk? No. Because his bum doesn't open up to poo anymore, and a nurse has to go digging up there to get up after his stuff? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I know. That was told to me in confidence. Not a young woman. Odds are that baby's going to be chromosomally damaged, like those cats you see in the Special Animal Olympics. So, Whiskers, how does it feel to finally win your event after years of training? Yum, 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 yum. Doggy. Ow. Doggy. Ow. Doggy. Too hard. I like doggy. Too hard. Doggy. Gonna bite. Doggy. Gonna bite. Doggy. Ah! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Every day at three, you'll need to give Slav a baby Ruth. Up, oh, it's nearly three now. Here you go. You're beautiful. I would go out with you if I wasn't already in a committed relationship. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, girls. Helen? Relax, it's for liability reasons. Now let's just try to enjoy our meal. I kind of get the helmet, but what's with the water wings? Well, you did order the soup. Oh, like something could happen. You... <laughs> ah, 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 get me out, get me out, get me out! Ah, 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 get me out! <laughs> These 
water wings didn't help at all. Ow! He bit me! Mr. Griffin, although I may not fully understand Opie's management style, he has proven himself a more competent employee than you. So, in my absence, you will listen to him. To disrespect. Oh, come on, guy. Oh, 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 damn it. You know, there's something off about that horse. You have an eye for animals, Lois. This horse is brain damaged. That's why I got it so cheap. You'll see, this horse will be a fine addition to our family. You know what? I don't want him to feel self-conscious. Everybody pee. Pee now, wait. Everybody pee now. I turn this water into poo. Uh-huh. I also turn this fish into poo. Ah. Do you want your birthday present? I think I know what it is. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a cashmere sweater! Oh, wow. That's actually really nice. And now it's poo! Oh! Hi, I work here. I don't think this guy works here. So I moved into Chris's closet just until I got back on my feet again. Wound up living in there for nine years. Oh my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! Hi, Chris. Wait a minute, that's the girl? Yeah, isn't she special? That's the way the state of Rhode Island would put it. Uh, there's something up with her, isn't there? Yeah, she's got Down syndrome. Oh, okay, well, there we go. Morning, Opie. Hey, what's going on? You going somewhere? <laughs> you got fired? Why? <laughs> oh, well, it's no wonder they finally caught you doing that in here. I mean, the underside of your desk looks like Carl's bad caverns. I don't know, but we gotta figure that out soon. Well, I'm not worried, Joe. You'll think of something. I gotta tell you, not being able to pay my child's hospital bill somehow makes me feel like less of a man. Oh, honey, that's silly. I'm gonna show you what a man you really are. Now, let's go put your penis on. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, Stewie. That son of a bitch. He just turned his back on me. The way reality turned its back on Gary Busey. How am I doing today, Gary Busey? You're doing great. Good. Then I'll keep it up. All right, I'm on board. Go talk to her. Um, hi, Ellen. Hi, Chris. Um, this is my little brother, Stewie. <laughs> Your head makes me laugh. I'm guessing this one owned a bunny, but not anymore. Oh, thank God. I've been hearing that ringing all week. I just thought I was losing my mind from lunatic screaming in my face. Your mother's a whore! I told you that in confidence, Gary. We now return to ST, the special terrestrial. Hi! Just like the alternate ending of Back to the Future. Well, if I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Harry, my name's Marty. I'm in a picture. To be contende. It puts the lotion on its skin. Oh, Meg, thank God I found you. Hey, remember how you borrowed my club card for the grocery store? Could you toss that up to me? Oh, you don't have to have the card. You can just give them your phone number. Oh, really? Hey, thanks, man. Hey, Meg, I like your new boyfriend. Every pot finds a lid, huh? <laughs> Have fun, you kids. What's going on? Did I miss something? Nah, just some idiot streaking across the field. Uh, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But, uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh, uh, uh, moving on. So, uh, I finally tried Viagra, and, uh... Ah! Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You, uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So, anyway... <laughs> Sorry, retarded. Oh, that's okay, then. <laughs> Don't know any better. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> Jeez, didn't you hear me a second ago? I'm retarded. Oh, you're just curious. Well, let me show you how everything works down there. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Well, I won this challenge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
What's up everybody? Happy Sunday to you. So today we have a compilation of unaired deleted family guy scenes. Well, we Koreans do not age. We pay Cambodians to do that for us. I seven year old. I work for Suji. I am so proud. This must be how Benjamin Franklin felt when he discovered electricity. No one will ever know I'm doing this weird thing. Oh, I just got the idea for bifocals. And now, a public okay. service announcement from husbands to wives. Hello, wives. Did you know that filling up the ice trays takes only two seconds? Here are other things that only take two seconds. Turning off the light, putting the tops on stuff, hanging up a towel. Also, how about some sex? I'm tired of masturbating in the bathroom after you go to bed. We now return to Extreme Home Makeover, Troubled Latchkey Kid Edition. Oh, hi. I just finished my two liter of Mountain Dew. Let's head outside. When my dad ran out on us, he left all his power tools. So now I like to drill potato butt. It's not that great, but it's something. Here's an old microwave I bashed into a tree. Under the house is a good place to throw the stuff I break and kill. Okay, let's take a break and get the deaf girl to show us her hairs. I'm saying it because all you're gonna find with that thing is junk. Oh, yeah? Is this junk, Lois? Because it just found this? That can't be good for my brain. No, Peter. Stewie is not junk. Tunzi does need. Besides, the fat man knows what he's doing. No, he doesn't. He never knows what he's doing. Don't you remember when he gave that deposition? Look, I don't think I'm any different from anybody else. Sometimes you got time to kill in a hotel room. Sometimes there's a mirror on the wall. Sometimes you look at your own stink hole in the mirror. Push your own stuff up there. It's fine. It's just you. Trying all kinds of looks. Pull one cheek to the side, maybe both. Set up a camera, watch it later from a different angle. Put a stethoscope on, pretend you're a doctor. Why should that matter to anyone but me? Sir, the question was, is this your signature? Okay, guys, I buried some beers in the backyard for just such an emergency. So here we go. All right, drink up, gentlemen. Peter, those aren't beers. That's the skeleton of a dog. Rufus? But Lois said he went upstate to live on a farm. Wait, if Rufus is here, then where are my beers? Honey, times are hard. I gotta take these beers to market. But Ned, we promised. I told you not to name them. The Family Channel presents Scraps, the Love Puppy, They're with director's up. commentary. We actually used four puppies for this role. The first one died of exposure. The second one apparently had cancer before we even got it, so we didn't even finish a day of shooting with it. And the third one bit a grip, who then proceeded to beat it into a paste with a gobo arm. You can still see the crimson outline in the background of the shot. We tried to wash her down, but there's only so many days in his shoot. Fourth dog nailed it. We all cried when we brought him back to the pound. This is horrible. Yes. Funding for this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. Hi, I'm you. I love TV. I make this possible. It's day three of Quahog's new ban on alcohol for anybody under 50. And if there's one thing the new drinking age law has done, it's let us know that women tell terrible stories. We now go live to Trisha Takanawa with more. Trisha? Tom, I'm standing here at an awful brunch with no mimosas. Let's listen in. Did anyone see what Cheryl was wearing at the PTA meeting? Yeah, I thought it was fine. What? I can't drink anymore? You know what? Maybe it's for the best. Time to stop drinking and start giving something back. I'm gonna work with the homeless. Hey, which one of you bums got liquor? Oh my god! Joe's completely paralyzed! Let's eat sushi off him. That was a weird first thing to say. What? This... Hey, Cleveland, how's the job search going? Not bad, but it's tough out there. Well, do you even open those links I send you? Peter, all you ever send me are links to old men pleasuring each other. Okay, good. So at least you're out there looking. That's right. I'm gonna keep everyone on this street safe, like Captain America. Captain America, can I see your shield for a second? Sure, here you go. He's just a guy. We now return to Will They Eat a Deviled Egg? <laughs> Come on, man. Ugh. He cracked. <laughs> the 
made him do it. Excellent. This show is so stupid. The yolk's on. Devil eggs aren't that great, but why does this keep cutting out in weird All right, guys. times? Hey, Peter. Hey, you know how drinking's the most important thing in any of our lives, but we never say that out loud? Seems like we should talk about that over a drink. Yeah, well, anyway, we thought that since it's such a nice day, we were going to get some beers and drink outside. You want to come? Yeah, that sounds good. Let me just check with my secretary and see if I'm free. Uh, looks like you're free till, uh, four, Mr. Griffin. Everybody drunk. Jeez, how many penis suppressing straps can one guy own? Hmm, Donna might enjoy trying to sneak her bottom into these jeans one cheek at a time. She can't dress wet, she gotta be dry. Bye, Glenn. See you around. Who was that? That's the box I was going through last night. <laughs> all right! Oh, Glenn, it's like your foghorn leghorn and all the women are chickens for your plucking. And they all say, Oh, man! Wagmire, we have to know how winter I don't know why summer this is cut ends. now. Yeah, this show is our whole life now. We're like those guys who hang around comic book shops all day, even though they don't work there. So, uh, you need help with a delivery? Nope. Need to put any vintage comics in plastic sleeves? I think we're good. All right, well, I'll just stand in the back and play with myself over my jeans. That was really great, Jake. Really, really great. Your face is upside down, so we're not going to pick you, but thanks for coming. Come on, just change the ad. I'm upside down for peanut butter. That's one right there. Peanut butter turns that frown upside down. That's two. I could keep going. Peanut butter is... You got two good ones. Damn it. This has been a worse trip than my visit to the Museum of Flight. And this is the Fightin' Lil. She's a B-17, and she flew the most bombing sorties in the European theater. Huh, interesting. And and where is Snoopy's doghouse? That was stolen by a fat guy in a ski mask. Oh, so still no lead? I don't know why this you cuts say out. You can't get man stick? Here, this is ground powder from a rhino horn. Take two of these and watch Bring It On. Wow, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, d I don't know your name. I'm just gonna make a noise. Tell me if I'm close. No, that is my brother. My name is Caitlin. Well, thank you, Caitlin. When I get home, I'll transfer enough money so you can rebuild your town. You've all been very kind. Now, everyone hop in place and pump your fists in the air as we walk slowly to our V. Peter Griffin. Freedom for Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Let my feet go. All right, I'll take you. I guess I can deal with it. After all, I put up with Peter always thinking it's the rise of the machines. We don't have long. That's awesome! Oh man, I haven't been this excited since we went to that Mexican water park. Excuse me, sir. Have you had active diarrhea in the past eight days? No. Well, you're about to. Peter, you've got to change his mind. He's got to stop taking those pills. You're right. If we don't fix him soon, it'll be a bigger disaster Good than... Good morning, everybody. Oh, for God's sake, Meg, you ruined the setup. Yeah, how come you're not wearing your bell? Did you chew it off again? It keeps me awake. And I should be allowed to enter rooms unannounced. Not while I live and breathe, Meg. But yeah, we'll get Chris straightened out. Ah, here comes Meg. Brian, quick, let's go play ten... I don't know why it's, it's like That's awful, honey. But it's weird. you just hang in there. I'm sure people will come around. I'm not so sure, Mom. Even online, I'd become a total outcast. Oh my God! No more Facebook friends. No more Twitter followers. No more Instagram followers. <sighs> he without Tumblr reblogs is nothing at all. A comment on our time and scene. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, I could see why some of these uh, scenes were deleted, but for some reason this video was like cutting out in weird parts. Like some of it was like kind of ruining the jokes a little bit, but um, some of them were pretty funny. On your marks, get set, white guys, go! 
I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Fucked up. Wow, a lot of people here today. Yeah. Man, I love street fairs. They got rides, games, and ethnic food cooked horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I tacos. love tacos on a corn tortilla! Sessions presents a Peter Horrible. Griffin Christmas. Featuring such standards as... Everybody look at the snow in the yard. And who could forget... I brought these gifts for you, they're up in my bum. And everyone's favorite... La 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 la, la 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 la, look at the bells, look at the bells. Holy crap, here comes Jesus, and he doesn't look too happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh my god, Brian, there's a message in my alphabet. It says, ooh. Peter, those are Cheerios. I don't know, Brian. Maybe Lois is right. Maybe it is time for me to get a job. Yeah, too bad you always blow it in the interview. So, Peter, where do you see yourself in five years? Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Don't say doing your wife. Doing your... son? And they told Peter to stay away from the wolf. But he didn't listen to them. Because he's his own man. Sir. He knew that sometimes the <clears throat> things that seem the most dangerous turn out to be the most fun. Yes, sir, it was a good day for young Peter. Are you a pedophile? Build a new settlement. Yes, we'll yes. have a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims, um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish, just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. Dad, what are we doing here? Chris, I'm gonna show you how to stand up to a bully. But first, I'm gonna show you how when I pull the drawstrings on my sweatshirt and spit out a candy bar, I look like an anus. Ew! 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 <laughs> Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Jeez, what's her problem? Ugh, Thanksgiving's exhausting. You know what she could use? A little sip of that drink I invented. Hi, Stewie Griffin here with my latest creation, Monster Energy Drink. What is it? I don't know, but it's free from this truck that stopped outside your work. Mix it with booze. Ever been wide awake, blacked out? Ever tried to jump over a train on a bike? Ever bit the beak off a bird? Monster Energy. Put it in your body and ask questions later. It's green, so it's nature. If you're happy and you know it's it, like clap crap. your hands. Fuck you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Eat shit. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Dumb cunt. Give us a ride! It's just me and my upright dog. We're obviously not weirdos. See, Brian? Told you. We're gonna be home in no time. Hi there, folks. Hand over the turkey. What? I can't go back to my wife without a turkey. Oh, yeah? Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. Running on empty now. Brian, give him the turkey. Brian, look. An eight-foot basket. Let me just dunk the turkey once. I know I can jam it. That's not a regulation <laughs> hey, You know what? I'm in charge of the turkey. You're driving. <laughs> Oh, fuck, bro. I can't do it after he did that shit. He busts his ass. Yes. <laughs> it's not making any noise. It's oh, a hybrid. Trust shit. Me, no, it's not. See? Damn. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, my 
my god! Uh. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not now! Not like this! <sighs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Lois, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? Okay, but only with the sound off. Fine, I'll just do it with my mouth. What it do, baby? What's up, y'all? I'm gonna have my luck at Family Guy Season 9, Part 1, Cutaways. What's the lesson you need to learn? What are you talking about? What lesson? I don't need to go to AA. I'm a social drinker, not an alcoholic. Tuh, yeah, that's like saying rappers are really poets. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she's not messing with... Who isn't she messing with? Shouldn't have tried these tricks on Denise Bryan, but if you ask me, she got lucky, because now she's dodged the bullet of being in a relationship with a loser like you. Well, you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cuz I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. <sighs> Mr. Pewishman, you're having an affair? Ew! No, no, this is my sister. Ew! No, 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 I I'm impotent. Ew! I mean, she looked at me while I did it to myself. Ew! I mean, she's a man. Ew! <laughs> We need more E's and W's down here now! We're trying! We're running out of letters! Just turn the M's upside down and send them down here! You can't just do that! There's a lot of paperwork before you I don't care! I'll take the heat! Just turn them over and send them down! And remember, wish it, want it, buy it. All right. Brian, settle down. You're worse than that guy from Penguin Publishing. You want to get a book published, don't you? Well, yes. Well, if you want to be in black and white, black and white's got to be in you. Do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. Meg, could you come here, please? What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Looks fine to me, ma'am. Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. <laughs> I stole Meg's cutaway. Oh my god, you look so cute! What is that, spray paint? Yeah, those little punks won a war, and now they've got one. Hey, here's someone who might understand how you feel. Hey, how you doing? First day being pink? Yeah. Welcome to hell. Meg, for God's sake, relax. You're not the first person to be outshined by a sibling. What about the third Bronte sister? Oh, Emily, Wuthering Heights was truly splendid. Oh, no, Charlotte. Jane Eyre was so very brilliant. I may blood out my lady parts. Good for you. So we've all done something. It's happening now. Ah, it's a period joke. It's a period period joke. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, moving on. Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> People of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. Well, that's what I tried to tell you, but you were stubborn as a pigeon at an ad agency. Guys, 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 these are all good ideas. But I think what people really get excited about is dropped museum popcorn. But this is an ad campaign for a Nissan SUV. How does that possibly... Phil, 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 Phil. I was put in charge of this meeting. And we're going with dropped museum popcorn. <laughs> Peter, would you get in the damn bed? I'm gonna have the best birthday party ever. I gave out all my invitations yesterday. Hey, Chris, um, I was wondering if you'd like to come to my party tomorrow. Thanks, Dad. I'd love to. Yeah. Oh, no. M-E-G. 
Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, nothing. Sports. Birthday sports. No, just sports. Oh, okay. Maggie, you're not invited to my party. Round one. Oh, I've seen this. Hello. Hello. So you can You lose. Here's some money for groceries and a list of the kids' schedules. The fat man in charge for a week? He's gonna be in over his head, like when he was a boxing coach. Punch him! Punch him again! Punch him! Punch him now! Again! Now you're getting punched! Punch back! Don't let him hit you! Get out of the way! Punch him! Oh! Oh! You know what I'm gonna tell you? They gotta oh. punch you more. Shit! Look, uh. you wanna grab a drink with me later tonight? I don't know I'd that be counts. Happy to tell you some. Oh my god! I don't know that counts, y'all. Look at me, huh? Stepping out in the town with a big celebrity? <laughs> well, I think you're exaggerating. No, you're a lady big shot, like Miss Piggy. Hey, Kermit, what happened to the bears in space sketch? Sorry, it's pigs in space now. There's been a change. What? There's been a change! But what about the old guy? I heard him complaining about woods in the dining room. That's true. He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! I can't go any faster! Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play crazy snakes. Hee 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 I, I can't believe it. That's the worst Disgusting. thing I've ever written. Not according to Penguin Publishing. In fact, you're supposed to call the chief editor. Penguin Publishing. One moment, please. Sir, I have a Brian Griffin on the line. Out! Get out! Get out now! <sighs> so, I don't know if I broke. Uh... I, oh, no. It's hard to say. I'll... <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't burst out laughing. You know. I mean, it was like, ah, uh, shit. I guess I did kind of break. I mean, it was like kind of like a very, very low. <laughs> but it wasn't even really funny though. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Back at you again with another try not to laugh. Family Guy edition. All right. So. We got Cutaway Compilation Season 7, Family Guy Part 1. Play our cards right, it could be bigger than the Apollo Theater. All right now, next up we got the comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up! How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store! All you stay out my store! I remember you face! I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey, that was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and still 27 centigrade out there. Hook, that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the Shevi desert, turn up the decibels, cause it's Shaleb Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, the Hach. Ooh, Horton hears domestic violence in the next apartment and doesn't call 911. You think it's easy working all day? No. You I think I like it? I don't think it's easy, but yes, I do think you like no, it. No, I, yeah, I like being away from you because I can't stand looking at you. You can't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you think oh, I want to do that? You think I want to hurt you? Not in front of me. I don't want to hurt you. you I'm sure there's two sides you to this. Yeah, we're not complete without Joe. You remember when he bailed on us for that trip to the spa and we had to find another handicapped guy? God, Seamus, I've, uh, never seen you this naked. Ah, it's good to let the old midsection breathe. What, uh, how the hell are you alive? I don't think you realize the danger. Like the people who think it's okay to bring shampoo on an airplane. So I told Brenda, I work hard, I like a clean house when I come home. And now I'm the bad guy. Oh, I know exactly where you're coming. Ow, it's in my eyes! We now return to the hills. <clears throat> Justin Bobby was supposed to be here already. Are you still going out with him? I guess so. I hate how he pushes his bangs out of his face with every word he says. Um, order me a beer. I have to find a spot for my motorcycle. 
Well, believe it or not, I pop in every hundred years or so, kinda incognito, just to get away from the family. Plus the timing seemed good, cause my dad just quit smoking and he's a little on edge. Who took my checkbook? Ellen? Why is there a pen cap and no pen? There's no way I can compete against those other kids. It's like trying to beat Spoople champion Fjord Vanderplug at a game of Spoople. Spoople! Oh, don't be sad, Peter. That's why they call it Spoople. I just hope Dad doesn't embarrass us like he did when that one-legged guy came over. All right, well, if you like movie trivia, I got one that'll stump you. Uh, of course, you're probably not really into tibia trivia. Uh, boy, that global warming, huh? They say we lost a foot of snow last winter. Uh, hey, how about another beer, huh? I bet you like the taste of hops. Uh, you only have one leg, sir. Absolutely. This world needs you, Jesus. It needs you like a guy who can't get it up needs a distraction. I am so ready to have sex with you. Oh, hey, is that my phone? I don't hear anything. Is that John Aston? I don't see anyone out there. Oh. Well, now there's so much going on. All right, I'll do it. Boy, you're more persuasive than James Bond. Now, time for some unfinished business. No, James. Yes. No, James. Yes, you're going to have sex with me. No, James, I don't want to. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, yes. See that? Fifty no's and a yes means yes. This is perfect, Lois. We'll expose Loretta for who she is. Just like Cyrano was exposed for being anti-Semitic. I love you for all that you are. In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of the world's wealth, and in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again with this? What's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Dad, this is stupid. I'm so bored. How can you be bored? This convention has everything. You can even try on LeVar Burton's visor. Why would he wear these? Who would invent these for him? We now return to Lady and the Tramp and Michael Vick. No. Hey, maybe we can go to the Fucked island for up. Lost. No, I don't want to listen to Matthew Fox's heavy breathing. Kate, you don't get it. We are the island. Hand me that paper bag. Jack, that's got my poop in it. I know. I know. It's got a hint of coconut in it. And something else. But that's part of the mystery. Made it, baby. Made it. What's good, everybody? I'm back at you again with some more try not to laugh challenges family guy season 10 part four it's a lot of work just to keep my single guy fridge sufficiently depressing let's see ex-girlfriends yo play root beer from two july's ago here we go expired milk oh, oh my god jenny look how young you look mayor west what do you plan to do if you win the lottery well i'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits i'd like to join your country club i assume that won't be a problem and how about you every persian guy in the world white bmw i just drove Dude, that was amazing i can drive now i can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. All right, if that's what it takes to ride that ride, I am going on a diet. And I'm not stopping till I look as good as my great aunt legs go all the way up, Griffin. Hey, baby, do those legs go all the way up? Why, yes, they do. Ah! Oh, my God, you're a monster! Come back! My legs are shaved like a little girl!
Remember, I'm the guy who came up with the choreography to Showgirls. OK, stop, stop, stop. Elizabeth, darling, too much hands, not enough hips. Can I just show you? One, two, oh, three, four, I'm dancing from my vagina. One, two, three, four, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. Orgasmize, orgasmize, and we're done. You do 20% that, and we got a movie. My God, who could be at the door at this hour? I don't know, but this late has got to be bad news. Everyone knows you always get bad news in the middle of the night. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Huh? What? You have cancer! What? Yeah, I thought you should know. Okay, go back to sleep. Wait, I have questions. <sighs> it's very late. Jeez, Joe, let it go. Yeah, Joe, even Robocop took a day off once in a while. Nope. I can't sleep like this, Lois. I need someone to cuddle with. Believe it or not, men like to cuddle. Even cold, unfeeling men like Charles Bronson. Hey, Charles Bronson's wife. Scooch over. I want to cuddle. Mmm, that's nice. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hello, Seamus. Right fine performance at the cricket match today. Aye, I was spirited to have you down there watching me. Well, it's a brilliant day for a long and confusing game of cricket. The field is teeming with men in helmets who long don't seem like they game. need helmets, and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's batted it clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Y yay! Yay! And now, Quahog Channel 5 presents Movie and a Bath with a guy named Lou. Hey, it's Saturday night, and you know what that means. We're gonna take a bath and watch the 1984 interesting movie Gremlins. Now, the Gremlins are funny. I don't know if those things are puppets or they put costumes on dogs or something, but let's press play and find out, huh? Uh, you can't get them things wet, by the way, but don't worry. This don't affect that. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many rings. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Oh, look at that smile, Lois. Reminds me of that guy who was way too happy he didn't get killed on 9-11. I'm ten minutes late for work! Look at that! I stayed up late watching Monday Night Football and that saved my life, huh? Isn't that awesome? Oh, but, oh... Peter, trust me. I know what's going on in the head. It's just a game. I used to do the same thing to my parents. The problem is they pushed back and the results were not good. Mr. Peter Schmidt, we pumped your daughter's stomach and we found vodka, brohypnol, a fair amount of DNA that is not her own, and a class ring. Harvard? I think it was SUNY something? No, oh, I don't want to hear anymore! Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It's like we're doing a public service. Like those idiots who get together to paint a school. This underachieving, crime-ridden school is now fawn beige, thanks to guilty white people with no weekend plans. Yay! Hey, look, why don't you go bother Joe, huh? I can't. He's in Vegas for the weekend, seeing that handicapped share impersonator. If I could turn back time if I could find a way Yeah! We all want to turn back time! This is the biggest city ovation I've ever seen! Need to move? No problem. Take it yourself with U-Haul. But I've never driven a truck before. No problem. U-Haul lets anyone drive a giant truck, even though it's dangerous, because, hey, you're moving. Sorry, I'm making a go of it in a new city. Peter, he's still alive. We gotta get him to a hospital. All right, but let's just watch the end of this clown porn first. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So your boy made it through. Um, 
I did lose the try not to grin challenge, but um, come on, that's like extra hard. I'm going grin at some of the stuff, okay? But I did not laugh. Most of the All right, people, we got Family Guy Cutaway Compilation Season 8, Part 5. Find, remove all traces of unease and doubt, and I will tell you your future. What is it, Peter? You will die in a plane crash and be reincarnated as a prophylactic. All right. No, no, not all right! Whoa, yes. Stewie, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's gonna be a football star. Oh, you. Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's gonna be a football star. Can't believe I fell for that line. I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. Peter, where are you going? Last day on Earth, last chance to do this. I'm gonna find a black neighborhood and see what happens if I yell the you-know-what word. Oh. They respected me for saying it. I know, Daddy. He's become so full of himself. He's more annoying than when he's making his Christmas list. Now, Peter, are you sure this is all you want for Christmas? I'm only going to the mall once. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All new this Christmas, remote control cars that glow in the dark? Get that! I, I spent my whole life as a Christian. I'll tell you what you should do with it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem with this world. Too many people go overboard with what they believe. Like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. Have fun with your stupid giant chicken jokes in your Conway Twitter. Hey, why is there a moving truck outside Cleveland's house? Okay, Brian, watch. Here comes my big part. Oh, here comes large bird and moody green garbage creature. Wow, you're a big bird. And I'm grouchy, so get out of my way. You watch that tone, moody green garbage creature, or I'll get Bernie and Kurt over here to kick your butt. Is there a problem here? Yeah, you need us to use our fists? Okay, that is the last time you are gonna pull that crap. Ah! You hear me? Yes! Do you hear me? Ah! Yes! Ah! Ah! Now you are gonna hold down that football until Charlie Brown kicks it. You got that? <laughs> yes! Now go ahead, Charlie. Yay! And you know what else? I did some checking around. You're not a licensed therapist. Ah! Yikes, that's a recipe for disappointment. Like walking a floral arrangement through an office full of fat women. Is there a miss? <gasps> Is. <Aww. laughs> it's amazing what you find when you clean your basement. Peter, you almost done down there? <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found. That's wonderful, Peter. Oh, you'll excuse no. me, I'm gonna go do some skywriting. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I broke them that way. Meg, this is a list of hats. I need these by four o'clock. Good idea. One of those hats would have helped him at the park today. Chris, did you put a coonskin cap on Stewie? No. Why? I'm gonna keep it going. <laughs> they look like little robbers. Dad, would you help me with my homework? Uh, Chris, I gotta tell you, that sounds worse than a trip to a failing mall. All right, kids, your mom is going to go to the Cinnabon that has the cage pulled halfway down, and I'm going to go to the stereo store next to the dead fountain with garbage in it. Let's say we meet back here under the glue outline of the old limited sign. Hey there, little fella. What's that around your neck? Well, I say it's a little black Jesus. Ah! Black Jesus! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Ah! Black Jesus! Oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, we just want you to do the voice. I guess I could, but I, I don't know if it'll do any good, Lois. He's in complete denial. Like people in massive debt. 
Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we gonna do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not gonna do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. And now our Let's feature start. presentation, Lawrence of Arabia, presented in its original Ultra Cinemascope letterbox format. Well, I can't see anything. Who's the rather attractive girl on the camel? That's Peter O'Toole. You film buffs might enjoy this. Both his first and last names are slang for penis. Well, thanks for nothing, Dad! Don't mind him, monkey. He's just a big disappointment. Like things that look like DVDs from far away. <gasps> DVDs! Ah, books. And you better get there quick, because with Quagmire, sex is inevitable. Like a fat guy ordering dessert when everyone else wants to leave. So, does anyone want dessert? Ugh, I couldn't eat another bite. No, I gotta get home for the sitter. I'll have the souffle. That takes 45 minutes. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so, this is not Reagan? No, it's Rich Little. He's an impressionist. He's been screwing with your head. Well, this thing is worthless. Like my Palestinian alarm clock. Allahu Akbar! Dad, can we please have a turn at the Xbox? Just a second, Meg. I'm still trying to get the hang of this. Okay, guys, tell me again. Wh uh, now, which one do I press to shoot now? Damn it. Ah, ah crap. Who's Call the douchebag who keeps dying? I'm not a douchebag. I'm new. Look, if you're no good, why don't you just go hide till the end? All right, I'll go crouch behind the, uh... Is this a crouch button? Which car is this? Ah, who dropped the grenade? Idiot. We're gonna play! Moron, you suck! Wow, it's beautiful down there. I just can't believe it really looks like this. Boy, the fish tank at daycare really nailed it. No, really, I have a boyfriend. His name is Anthony. Well, Meg, if you're telling us the truth, I just hope to God he's an improvement over the last one. Thanks, Mrs. Griffin. That was delicious. You're welcome, Justin. It was a pleasure to meet you. Come on, I'll take you home. Okay, babe. He ain't got no legs. We now return to Robert Mitchum in A Backhand for Sally. You're getting on that train with me. I can't go with you. I just can't. <gasps> okay, I'll go. Ow! I said I'd go! Why'd you give me the back of your hand? Because I love you. Yo, this was a really good compilation. Really good one. Today we got Family Guy Dark Black Jokes. All right, if we want to get Cleveland back, we should just put out his favorite snack, an open can of tuna. Often he'll come running when he hears a can opening. Peter, stop. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Mercutio! I could never say this when I was alive, but... Rafe... Fines. Ugh. Oh God, I'm voiding my bowels right now because I died. Not 30 minutes ago in the carriage on the way here. Well, we all know how this goes. I'm doing it! What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Huh. Most of these arrests are Cleveland, and the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. You're right. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. No problem, Quagmire. If only. This place is always so crowded. We gotta find someone who works here. Can I help you, sir? Sorry, all I got is a quarter, pal. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, my buddy here is looking for a computer. I would like to elect you president. <laughs> oh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know... Given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. 
I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. And then there was your third husband, Jeff, the black guy? Hmm, he should have been here by now. You know, Cohog Estates is a very exclusive neighborhood. I got an invitation to go to the mayor's house. Uh-huh. So you're telling me if I ran these plates, they'd come back clean? Absolutely. All the attitude. Hey, Griffins, just checking in. Oh Holy crap! <laughs> Cleveland! It's all right, Lois. He's in heaven now. I don't understand why I need to give you what a friend. What the fuck? It's kind of a new policy. I didn't see you ask the guy in front of me. It's kind of brand new. Do you have a credit card? I got a Sears card. Ah, they're doing pretty well, huh? One by my house, got a McDonald's right in the store. Up, oh, one minute to open in, everybody. Wham! DVDs so cheap. Because, Chris, DVDs are uh. outdated and obsolete, like white track guys. On your marks, get set. White okay, guys, I've on. seen this one. I've I seen this one. I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. <laughs> so all those other players uh. that you're nodding at, do you know them? Oh, man. Look, relax. We'll just tell them the truth. We're cruising around town looking for a sexually active 14-year-old boy. You have any idea how fast you were going? I was going the speed limit, officer. He was. Are you here against your will, sir? If you're asking if I'd rather be at the zoo, then yes. Maybe you step out of the car and we see if you've been drinking. <laughs> I'm too fat to be in the car by myself. <laughs> ah. This one was okay. Oh, man. Oh. Cleveland getting shot was funny. But the one where he was like, I guess Joe called him and then like Joe, um, Peter was coming over with a whip. That was kind of funny. Man, I kind of really, I miss Cleveland being in the Family Guy because I swear to God, he made it like a lot more funnier too. The Cleveland show in itself isn't that funny to me, to me personally. Um, maybe there's some funny compilations in there. Maybe I could do the Cleveland show, but I don't think it's as funny as Family Guy though, for sure. But, Sumo tonight. Brought to you by Asian Tricks. Silly Wabbit, Twix are for kids. You shall. You're always getting medals for catching crooks. Hell, even Cleveland used to be an accomplished auctioneer. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? Hey. 135 going once. It turns out our last shipment of holy water is tainted. Tainted? Holy water? How would that happen? Oh, this is nasty. I hate when people do that shit. Down there. <laughs> Judd Hirsch? Uh, hey. Uh, what, uh, what's going on? Nothing. All right. Sure, I've steered our family through bigger problems, like when we were cartoon sketches on the Tracy Ullman show. Well, that's the end of Puss. He was the best cat anyone ever had. Hey, Lois, what do you say we go downtown and buy a dog? Hey, wait a minute. You already have a dog. So long, Puss. We'll miss you. It's going to be quite a different place with him gone, that's for true. I don't know, but I better go find him. We can't sit here watching infomercials all night. Hello! How come I rich and you not? How come you not sell real estate like I do? How come I sleep with your wife while you at work and then I pee in your toilet and don't flush? And sometimes I open the back part and I pee in there so that when you flush, pee come out. You know why? Because I'm smart. I'm smart, you stupid. Call now! Oh my kitten, I'm never gonna be remembered for anything. Not like my great great uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding, like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. We now return to Gilmore Girls. Mom, I need to talk to you about Dean. Which Dean? Howard Dean, James Dean, or Jimmy Dean? Ugh, too old, too dead, and too fattening. You don't have to tell that to my thighs. Can you ask her thighs if they borrowed my Gap Capris? They did not, and they're insulted that you even asked such a thing. As insulted as Kitty Kelly when people accuse her of taking liberties with her best-selling tell-alls? Almost. Wanna make out? Absolutely not. Oh, you're so lying. I so am. 
Well, well, why not uh, uh, Ronald Reagan? He was always fun, especially in his later years. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Tear it down. Reagan smash. Reagan smash. What's that? Oh, it's just Reagan. Just leave him alone. He'll tire himself out. Reagan sleepy. Thank you. I just received a call from my worthy opponent, Senator Date Rape. No, no, he ran a good campaign, but the people of America have spoken, and they're saying they want four more years of douchebag. Douchebag, 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 douchebag. douchebag. Jeez, this sucks worse than that time I did cocaine with Carl Malden. What are you getting all bent out of shape about? Well, you know, Carl, I, I, I didn't get... I got virtually nothing here, you know? Look, I don't see what the problem is. No, you wouldn't, would you? Now, look, look, all I'm saying is I got the raw end of the deal. You invited me over. Yeah, well, now I'm regretting it. Well, when I'm done with you, you're going to hate me more than the other vowels hate Y. If you'll turn to page 34 of your blue books, you'll see our projections for next quarter. Okay, which I okay, can tell yeah, I, well, all right. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. So, what are we talking about here? Well, before you... Ugh, I'm sorry. F, what's up? No, no, I can talk. Ugh, this is the worst use of money since I tricked out my big wheel. Hey, ladies, check out this ride, huh? Yeah! I'm off to make trouble for the establishment. I don't know, Cleveland. It didn't work out so great that time I froze my nuts. Oh, God, no! My nuts! My nuts! This will be a bigger disaster than when Peter did Tara Reed's boob job. Oh, drop some pepperoni on there. You know what? That works. Sew it up. Oh, man, that's the best oh, idea oh. since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. Wow, Neil Armstrong. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, 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 a tape delay and uh, with all uh, solar winds. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh! Oh, unbelievable! Oh, my God! How lucky are we, huh? Hey, Stewie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just watching Kirk Cameron play Jean Valjean. Oh, my God! Curtain up! Oh, God, I'm screwed. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. Yeah, this is worse than being Kevin Federline's magic mirror. Magic mirror? How can I look like a douchebag today? Well, Kevin, um, I would say first of all, don't shave or shower. Okay, I won't. And, uh, you just got out of bed, right? Yeah. Uh, I would say just go ahead and wear that tank top all day. Um, okay. All right, so we cover the hygiene, no collared shirts, um... Oh, and don't forget to walk around with an undeserved sense of accomplishment. Oh, no, I don't volunteer for anything since I helped those guys repaint the Sistine Chapel. <gasps> yeah, uh, listen, I thought the stuff that was there was kind of lame, so uh, I put this up. Yeah, I figured I'd rate a giant to be a little hipper, you know? Get back some of those boys you scared away. Well, this is a bigger surprise than that time Peter vanished into thin air. Hey, Stewie, peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. Well, I, I can hear you, but I can't see... Really, must really be gone. Peekaboo! Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Boy, imagine what it would be like to be a big shot. Why is Diego! He king of Sweaty. Ah, uh, thank you. Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. You're so good with animals. Damn it, Helen. Get the hell off my back, or so help me. So help me. Don't worry. I hear they have great makeup sex. Oh, that feels oh. so good. Oh, yeah. oh. oh.
like that. Oh, oh, oh. I thought about this all day. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh. Not so fast. You are hurting me. You know, some people would be very happy to have this food, like John Goodman's family. Please, Daddy. I told you, when I'm finished, you can have what's left. There won't be any left. There's never any left. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, fellas. That's how you evolve. Like when the Tin Man found out he was gay. by accident okay okay try to think of a happy place to be happy place um okay okay i'm on mtv's jackass hey i'm stewie griffin and i'm gonna be kicking my dad's ass all day today ah 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 what the hell ah do it no no stop ah ah knock it up knock it up ah ah come on come on stewie you're acting crazy. And his out dad there, never man. did anything. Oh, it's horrible, Lois. I've had to do all the things that you usually do. Like the other night, I had to go to your book club meeting. Well, I really admired the mother character's admission of personal torment after her daughter's death. I, I disagree. I felt a total lack of ethical integrity in her readiness to abandon her children and start a life of her own. Uh, here's another thing the book can also be a hat. And now back to Happy Days. Ah, that Fonzie is magic. I love the way he hits the jukebox to make it work. What is it, Mr. C? Fonz, I... I wanted to pleasure Marion for our anniversary, but as you know, I have erectile dysfunction. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Arthur. Hey! You know what? Maybe I'll just go take up my old job as a construction worker in New York. Although I never did get the cat calling right. Yeah, baby! I want a piece of that. You suck! Yes! Another one. Perfect! Another one. Alright, so we got some more Family Guy, y'all. We got Family Guy Cutaway Compilation Season 9 Part 5. You have a story that you'd like to share? Oh, yeah, I got one. This one time me and Joe and Quagmire made a bet to see who could drink the most beer and still drive. And you, you know that water slide in South Attleboro? <laughs> yeah! Water slide! So, will you stay with me? Well, it's tempting. Paris is such a perfect city. Uh, that is not entirely true. We have a lot of mime-on-mime -mime violence. Mime-on-mime <laughs> violence. -mime. You're gonna hook up with a boy! I know! I can't believe it! Oh, I feel as pretty as Scarlett Johansson! Laura Linney. Whoops. That's so Dude, mean. What are we holding, good buddy? Oh, I got a flock of birds that were too tired to fly back north. Boy, this is the way to do it, huh, Jerry? Sure is. Think this makes us lazy? Nah, we're still in the V shape. Oh no, that movie's long gone, like the original ending to Grease. We've been up here for four days. Why did you drive the car into the air if you didn't know how to get it back down? Look, Sandy, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Obviously, I didn't think ahead. It's so cold. Let's cuddle together for warmth. I I'm, 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 I'm warm enough. Oh, Lois. Look, Carol, I'm just saying it's a big decision. Your life is full of big decisions, like deciding whether or not you're going to have time to masturbate. Peter, I'm gonna run and pick up Stewie. I'll be back in five or ten minutes. Well, which is it? You know, if you ever want to get anywhere with this girl, you gotta ditch that negative attitude. You're, you're as bad as Negatron. 
Do as I command, and we will defeat the Autobots once and for all! Nope, not gonna work. Oh, come on. What did we talk about? Autobots always win. You think Optimus Prime's gonna be dead, but then he's not dead. I'm taking this from a robot that turns into a canoe? When there's a battle on a gently moving river, you'll want me. Ah, there's the cute little guy now. Hang on. Oh my god, what happened to you? Oh, oh, we, we gotta get you to the hospital. Ah, ah, you're hideous. Who did this to you? Oh, oh, where are my keys? Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Peter, what about Babs? Forget about yourself for a second, Carter. Look what has happened to Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right. You should probably take care of that. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be here. The top-ranked boxer in all of Rhode Island, Deirdre Action Jackson. I think every Italian in Quahog is here. Yeah, go white girl. Hey, yo, you're getting your grinder on my grinder. There it is, Meg. What do you say we take it for a spin? Chris, get off there. You shouldn't be sitting on that. Come on. That's fake. All right, you ready? I don't want to do this. Go. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? That went exactly as I wanted it to go. Don't worry, Brian, I've got it all under control. You're a big canine star, they should be treating you like Spuds McKenzie. Man, I wonder what he's doing now. Now, ladies, approach him slowly. He can't really see anymore. I've injected him with the Viagra. Now, I'm gonna roll him on his back, but you're pretty much gonna have to do 100% of the work. What the hell? <clears throat> oh, by the way, I should tell you I've got AIDS. What? Yeah, they're right over there waiting for me. Ready to go when you are, sir. Poor guys, they both have AIDS. Not okay! Yeah, ice cream sounds great. The only thing is... Mrs. Griffin, could I speak with you and Brian alone, please? Well, of course. Kids, why don't you wait in the car? Okay, Mom. Let's go find the big black sassy nurse. There's always one. You can cry about it, or you can decide to live. It's your choice. Found us. Well, it's probably the right move anyway. Those girls seem kind of annoying. Look at them over there, taking a group picture together. I love you! I love you! We're all such good friends! You can tell by the way we're pressing our faces together! And that's where fat girls come from. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Roger that, Neil. We came in peace for all the peoples of the Earth. We read you, Neil. We chose to go to the moon not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Got a lot of help down here, Neil. We have slipped the surly bonds of Earth and touched the face of God. Yeah, if you could just grab some rocks, Neil, throw them in a bag, we'll get you home safe and sound. Great, Peter. Nice going. This dinner was a disaster. Eh, Clash of the Titans Owl was worse. So you're from Greece. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't understand what he's saying. Yeah, I told you, Lois, only Harry Hamlin can. If you're gonna invite the owl, you gotta invite Harry Hamlin. I will not have Harry Hamlin in this house. Oh, no! We're too late! I'm sorry, Carol. But if it helps, you're not the first person to get a bum deal. Mr. Edison, we're going to use your invention to power the world. And Mr. Tesla, we're going to use yours in the background of Frankenstein movies. Oh, I wanted that one. Oh, made it. Oh, made it, baby. Oh, I am. That's like two. I already passed the Farden Preacher compilation and I passed another Family Guy compilation. Man, what is there left for me to accomplish here? Okay, I am just busting these challenges out of the water. What is good? What is good? What is good? 
I am back with some more Family Guy reactions. So this time we have Family Guy Lois Kills Brian Dark Humor Compilation. Now, there isn't too many times I've seen Lois actually kill Brian on screen, but I don't know if this is a compilation of her killing Brian all the many times she's done it, but uh, maybe this is just all the dark humor in the newer seasons is what I'm guessing, hopefully. But anywho, this is gonna be a try not to grin and a try not to laugh challenge. You feel me? Let's get it popping. Pull over here, I gotta take a leak. Leave the gun. Take the cream soda. That's why I was such a good breakup rodeo clown. Oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. I've been sleeping with your sister. What? Hey now, hey now, over here, over here, over here. Hey now, hey now, over here, over here. Hey now, hey now, over here, over here. <laughs> oh, and now that I'm inside the barrel, he gave you and your sister HPV. Oh, look at this, your book is number three on Amazon. Number three? Well, who's number one? Oh, is that new biography on Michael Jackson. Oh, come on, another one? Unless it was written by a ten-year-old's bottom, who cares? I, it doesn't say who the author is, Brian, but I, I would guess that it's probably not that. All right, now we play it cool. Hey, Meg, uh, we're trying to make some money, and, um, would you like to buy some pot from your granddaddy and me? Um, wow, sure. Oh, fantastic. What the hell was that for? Now we have the pot and the money. Oh, Brian, are you going straight back to the hotel? Because I was going to go back... You know what? I'll just... I'll take a cab. Oh. <sighs> well, at least it's not raining. God, that was humiliating. This party has turned south quick, like Brian Singer's remake of Casablanca. Here's looking at you, actual kid. Mom, am oh. I going to fit in the seat, or is this going to be like last time? This should tide you over for a while. I'll come back as soon as I can. Mm. She's not coming back, you know. How do you know that? Because she's my mom, too. What? Oh, that's impossible. I can't lose all my money in my house. Then I'll have to move into some depressing divorced guy apartment. As you can see, we have plenty of cabinet space for your plate. The oven, of course, is just decorative. Mm, seems okay. Do you have any other units available? This is our only one. I hope you're happy, Marsha! We might have something upstairs. Wow, this is amazing. Every major playwright is here. Yes, and it seems to be quite a successful party. Several of them have already committed suicide. Great party. Totally. Sorry, Peter, this is for your own good. Yeah, you told us you would do anything to lose weight. I lied. I just want to be free, like a recently divorced man with no kids. This is nice. This is better. How you doing tonight? So you ever Trap notice house. when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember you face. I ate it. You ate it? Yeah, there was no name on it. It was just sitting there. Was there a problem? No. No. No problem. Hate being just a cog around here. Hey, Almost shit. as much as I hate homeless people asking me for money. Shit. Spare some change. Sure. You didn't put anything in there. Yes, I did. I put hope in there. Hope. Don't spend it all in one place, Raggy. Oh, no. Oh, no, Joe. These aren't done. The inside's colder than an Asian in-law. Mom, Dad, this is Alan. Same it's a pleasure to meet you. Where do you go college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard. Not real school. What you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? About 200000 per year. Welcome to family. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord. Save them. Bless their li Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. Everything worked out. High school is like Lord of the Flies. It's a social nightmare. And I hear Canadian high schools are even worse. 
Well, well, look who matriculated to grade nine. Someone wants to get into university. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry. Well, you're going to be sorry when we put you in the hospital for free, eh? Has anyone seen the rest of my white wine? Sorry, Lois, I drank that. Oh, that's fine, Brian. Hey, what do you say you and me go for a walk in the woods? Kind of nice. I thought you were going to do some kind of godfather murder on me. Oh, Brian, I don't watch mafia movies, but I did see Fargo. Huh? Carter, hand me my thinking grenades. Where'd you get these? Shh, Carter, I'm thinking. Uh-huh. Oh, my God, he's dead! That might work. I got it. You carve a gun out of soap and then not wash with it? Haha, <laughs> pee you. <laughs> hey, Meg, are you going to take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. I had my high school sweetheart. Week after our wedding, she was diagnosed with cancer. At a funeral, our little girl caught pneumonia. We buried her next to her mom six weeks later. You never seen a casket so small. I hear you. I gave me number to a girl and she threw it away. You and me, fraternity of pain, eh? <sighs> Guess I'm on my own now, Rupert. It could be worse, though. At least I'm not getting stabbed by some random guy on the street. See, it's the exact opposite. Oh, it happened anyway. All right, hand me the razor. Oh. Oh my god! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. You kids are the most important thing in our lives. Oh my god, we forgot Meg! Don't worry about Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. Cheese balls. Are all these dogs having hip surgery? Where do you think you are? This isn't a doctor's office. This is the pound. You're being euthanized. What? Jess is having me put down? Oh my god, this can't be happening! Did you also eat a kid? What do we do? All right, all right, I have an uh, idea. How about we hide Clifford? the cat's body and leave that window open, and that way it'll seem like the cat ran away. We'll never get away with that. Oh, we just might. You see, I've got a lucky cat's foot. Well, look, there's a family circus dotted path. It'll lead us right to him. Ah, it's just Billy. He died of measles. And here comes Marmaduke to lick up the vomit. Lucky. Disgusting. Hey, guys, I want you to know I'm raising my reward to $50 for anyone who can help me find James. No questions asked. I killed your cat. Oh my God, Muriel, my sweet Muriel. She was so young. She was so beautiful. Yo, why do they she look was alike? So gener uh, we were married. Oh man. Well, and I say oh. let's celebrate the way they did oh, in the Bible going. with wine, red wine. You know, like Jesus drank. <laughs> do you like the wine? Very much. What is it? It's my blood. I have to leave. Nah, sit down. Those lying bastards at Johnson & Johnson! We'll put no more tears on the label. But it does make you cry. I know. <laughs> it's like you grew out of your walk like an Egyptian phase. Paul was a good man. A good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Call me. She won't call. Oh, here's a pleasant sight. Cirrhosis the Wonder Dog. I'm, I'm not drunk, all right? I just have a speech impediment. <laughs> and a stomach virus. And an inner ear infection. Well, you might want to bring some cash with you. Because, you know, some places don't take credit cards. But, mister, I need real money. I 
can't take a credit card. Oh, I see. Cash only, eh? Eh? No paper trail, eh? What are you selling? Reefer? Crack? Schmack? Horse? X? Shrooms? Dust? Meth? In my neighborhood? I don't think so. <laughs> Everybody up. We're going on vacation. Car leaves at 6 a.m. sharp. You blow that fucking horn again, I swear to God, I will ram that fucking thing up your goddamn ass! Sheesh. Chris wasn't playing. Um, but your boy won! What's good? Um, <laughs> I did lose the grin challenge, but, um, man, when Peter was, uh, using his, uh, thinking grenades, uh, <laughs> It wasn't funny initially, but when he started like killing somebody outside, that shit almost floored me because he was like, oh my god! That shit almost made me laugh. What's up, everybody? What's going on? This one is Family Guy Cutaway Compilation Season 10 Part 1. Hold on. Shit, this is going to be really, really tough. All right. Oh, I can't grin. I for it myself. I've been saving up from all my part-time jobs. Yeah, that's smart of you, Meg. You know, sometimes I do part-time jobs for extra cash. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Waiter, have the chef prepare a bucket of your finest caviar and then give it a helicopter tour of the city. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. I hope it enjoys it as much as that main lobster I ordered. And over there is the Rhode Island State House, the second largest self-supporting marble dome in North America. Why the f am I doing this? I could have just said I did it. Um, hey, thanks for taking me out to dinner, Ryan, but I gotta say this food looks a little weird. Aw, oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Looks like it might give me the kind of farts I get from eating Mexican food. Con cuidado! Es el stinko! Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! Cobra! Oh, it's Cobra. Oh, of course. Look, they have the pictures of the snakes on their planes. Duke, what have I been saying for years? What makes a good terrorist organization? Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Look, sometimes in life, you gotta say what the hell and just go for it. I mean, that's how we won the Revolutionary War. Colonel, the British are too entrenched across the river. I've told the men we'll hold our position. Negative. Tell the men we're going across. But Colonel Goatbanger, we've- No, we need to do this, cause for, cause of, for strategy. Just remember not to go out into actual Florida. You don't want to meet those people. Hi, I just moved into the neighborhood and I'm required by law to inform you that I am a sex offender. Oh, don't worry about it. So am I. This whole block is SOs. We use the abbreviation SOs because it saves a lot of time over saying sex offender because that's all we talk about. Well, I'm also into football. Don't care. No time for FB. All about SO. Quagmire, let me in, you son of a bitch! I'm sorry I'm not home to receive you. The reason being that you have sufficiently scared me away from your wife or daughter. I plan to get help and use better judgment in the future. Wait a minute. So Quagmire just changed all of a sudden? Just like that? You want me to read this or not? No, Grandpa, I don't. No kid wants to be read anything anymore. Computers exist. It's just you won't leave. Okay, where were we? Quagmire's front door. Uh, yeah, me neither. Dog people can get pretty annoying. Wow, this is a nice apartment you have. Is this your dog? Yes. Isn't he the cutest little cutie wooty? Look how cute he is. Yes, he's very cute. Yes, he's cute. Yes, he's cute, 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 cute. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Look at it. Look at that face. Come on. Look at that face. You look at him. Look at that <laughs> face. We now return to the post Roe versus Wade Brady Bunch. Greg, Marsha, get down here. <laughs> Ah, oh, you two are such a handful. Well, we're looking for this child using all the latest technology, including the newest, most advanced multimedia milk cartons. Help me, I'm missing! Help! Why are you still eating breakfast? I'm kidnapped! Why are you turning me the other way? I'm still here! 
Peter, are you actually reading that Christian science book? Yeah, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you could pray really hard for something and it actually happened? <gasps> I am so happy for me. I deserve this. When do you think the Queen's gonna die? Hey, hold on now. You came out here to be my agent. Tom, relax. I can take care of your boat. You'd be surprised how much I can handle. Peter, I need you to drop Stewie off at daycare and then shred this big stack of old bank statements. You got it, Lois. Is he always this quiet? Yeah, you're right. Plus, the sooner we get him out of here, the sooner I can get back to my cocaine and dollhouses. Dinner is served. Get out! Dear stuffed shirts at Ritz Crackers, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, just as a box of crackers is only as appealing as its least intact sleeve. I am paying for fully formed crackers, not butter crumbles. I don't buy your product with broken quarters. Don't stick me with broken pieces of cracker, you miserable dicks. Regards, Mort Goldman again. Well, either way, we gotta get out of here. Otherwise, we're just sitting ducks. Hey, we all know this guy goes for the classy ladies. In fact, I once caught him trying to pick up a quack whore. <laughs> all right, calm down. We all make bad choices. You're lying to yourself, Brian. Like those girls who insist their best friends are attractive. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was an extreme example. But face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. You don't understand, Brian. What am I supposed to do without Jolly Farm? I'll be like an Italian mom without bad kids. Okay. Hey, 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 I what the hell is all the commotion the in here? We're not doing Pardon. anything. You getting fresh with me? I'm tired of bailing both of yous out of prison. We're both in college, and we consistently make the dean's list. I'm telling your father. Good. Wow, I only had a... F I only had one more to go. I cannot believe that one... Okay. Well, at least I passed... At least I passed the Chocolate the Lab Challenge part, which I normally do anyway, but the grand part was kind of, it was a little difficult. I was doing pretty good. I was doing really good. I was surprised at myself. Man, y'all already know what time it is. Man, we got some old Family Guy funniest moments. So, you like taking dirt bikes that don't belong to you, huh? Then here, have a whole carton of cigarettes. W what? Peter, that's not what this is about. See how you like them. Here, I'll even get you started. <coughs> <laughs> Dad, I don't smoke. Sure, you don't now, but keep at it. You'll get the hang of it. By the end of that pack, you'll be smoking like a real pro. Like a cool kid. Yeah, that's it. Getting smoother, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait till you try it after a meal. Delicious. And after sex, forget about it. It's like putting your penis to sleep in a feather bed. I think I may want more cigarettes. Oh, I'll get you more cigarettes. But I'm pretty mad about my dirt bike. Well, if I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Harry, my name's Marty. I'm in a picture. Okay, Chris, I want to wear contacts, but I'm too squeamish to put them in myself, so you need to help me. Really? Is it that hard? My eyes are too sensitive. It's like they overreact or something. Okay. Ah, what happened to your eye? Don't worry about it, just put the lens in! But where do I put it? The pupil's gone, your eye just looks like a ping pong ball! I think it rolled up into my head! Look, just, just do the other one! Ah! You look like one of those blind jazz guys! Where are you? I can't see anything! Ah! 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 I don't like this, just wear your stupid glasses! Chris, I'm blind! I'm sorry, Meg! <laughs> Excuse me, aren't you Peter, the human stunt bag? Well, it all depends on who's asking. I'm a doctor about to conduct an experimental procedure to give bones to a jellyfish. But I'd like to try it on a human first. Interested? Well, I don't know. Interested? Didn't you just say that? Yes. I'll do it! 
Well, Peter, the operation was a complete success. What are you going to do now? Well, the whole reason I had the operation was so I could go back to my family. But it's been so long. What if they don't love me anymore? Peter, where do you think all those bones came from? Surprise! Surprise! My God, you, you mean it's your bones that are inside me? Well, mostly. We picked up a drifter to fill in the torso. Well, like I always say, a family of freaks is better than no family at all. Let's go home. You know what's really weird? This was covered by my HMO. Yeah, I gotta take this. Who's calling? My ex-girlfriend. She calls me drunk every Valentine's Day. Hey, Samantha. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I still love Lois. Oh, come on. You would have been a great mom. She had cervical cancer five years ago. She's basically a boob on a leg at this point. Well, that's something. You're in a book club? Lois are tough to get into. What? I didn't even know the fine young cannibals were still together. Eight city tour. Well, I don't know if I can make eight, but I can certainly do six. What about Lois? She's totally out of the picture. We've done everything to sign the papers. Samantha, Samantha, I will see you in Binghamton. And now I want you to go and take a picture of yourself because it will be your last day alone. Jeez, what's not clear about get lost? By the way, my attendance at home is going to be spotty over the next few weeks. Wow. Uh, this is my favorite part of the game. When two drunk guys, each holding a baby, get into a fist fight. You're stupid. No, you're stupid. Oh, now their wives are getting into it. They're going to put their cigarettes in their mouths and bump boobs. You got no class, you bitch. No, you got no class. And now here comes security to kick out the wrong person. Come on, Miyagi. Take that karate outside. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've seen this one. <clears throat> <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. Bocce balls! I bought a tank! Are you out of your mind? Let me show you how the gun works. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 no! I look so good! I lost all this weight! Get off my plane! It's not even the same- oh, What the hell?! Not gonna talk to me like that in my bar! Not a bar- oh. Hey Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come, join us. Oh, okay! Solitary killer, the fire truck stops its prey. I've seen this. The fire truck can consume eight times its body weight. The ambulances will have to wait the- hey, You're that black guy I saw in the news conference, ain't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. This is car 15. I'm gonna need backup. I've got a stolen vehicle here. But this is my car. Suspect's getting belligerent. What? Officer down. Show me one way in which cats are better than dogs. Well, okay. Uh, for one thing, they always land on their feet. Watch. So, big deal. Dogs do that too. Here, go ahead. Do what you just did, but with me. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! My neck! Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Hey, fat ass, you like, um, you like, uh, this, this bus bench? Uh, I, it, it's okay. All right, that's good enough for me. I'm smashing it. It's safe to say he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing.
love that thing. Griffin, certified CPR. Don't anyone panic. Ah! ah! What the hell are you doing? You, you know, I don't think he's hurt. I'll get to you in a moment, sir. All right, I'm gonna have to check and see if he soiled himself. Sir, ah! sir, sir. What the sir, hell is I've wrong to, with sir, you? I've got to check and get see if he soiled me. himself. Are you crazy? Sir, I think, sir ah! I'm gonna need you to stop. Hello. Hello. All right, my you gotta get these trousers Somebody off. Somebody call hey, a cop. Hey, oh, that's sir, I've got to see if he soiled sir. himself. Somebody asked me to get involved, you idiot. Get off him, you jackass. Sir, I'm gonna need you to step back. All right, looks like we're clean down here. You guys take it easy. No need to thank me. Just pay it forward. Oh. Nice. All right, sweetie, you ready to get some new notebooks and protractors and slacks? I want blue jeans. You're getting slacked! <laughs> 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 Jeez, I hope she can get out. No, I'm sure she'll be fine. What's good here? It's all good. What's the freshest? It's all fresh. How about the halibut? Is it gaming? Gaming? I mean, you know, is it fishy? It's all fish. Is there a special way to prepare it? I'd cook it up. W well, what's the best fish here? What's your favorite fish? I don't eat fish. I only like spaghetti. Love the moment. Taking a stand. You ain't gonna fall. You're going fall. Erica did. Wait, is that the one I called fat and we can't fire? Yeah. Let's get this contest started. <sighs> Big whoop, I can do that. Oh my god, Erica! You killed Erica! Fantastic. Oh my god, you like scrambled eggs too? Here, go ahead, have some. Whoa, that's a big bite there. Slow down, buddy. Oh my god, oh my god, he's choking! Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Why you thought it was appropriate to show up here, Cheryl, I have no idea. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? I saw this one, too. Yeah, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! Oh, my God, man. Oh, that was a pretty good one. I would have I will admit that was that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um What is it with the clips of Peter like fucking take it like he, he he's like pranking Cleveland, but every single time he finishes the prank, he pulls his pants down and throws shit in his ass. <laughs> oh, it's just weird it's just really, really like weird and unexpected, but that was pretty funny to me. What's up, everybody? I am back with some more reactions. This time we have more Family Guy. Yay. <laughs> I'm joking. I know y'all love Family Guy, so I had to give you some more Family Guy content. All right? Y'all love some Family Guy, and I understand. It's a pretty funny show. So, Best Tune Clips have been uploading more videos of Family Guy recently, and I've scrubbed through the video already to make sure that I haven't seen most of these clips and it looks like I haven't really so this is, should be a good one I'm not smiling or laughing just wait and see I guess I could try it trust me Peter yeah I was right about telling you to go see the gynecologist wasn't I I'd like to see some vaginas please that's what we're here for come on in that's yeah. how it works what's going on did I miss something Ah, just some idiot streaking across the field uh, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. They really can't That's catch right. him? And that means he had you first, Lois. I'll always be Scotty Pippen to his Michael Jordan. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jordan! And Scotty Pippen. He's also good. Why didn't they do Jordan last? Alphabetical? Oh, right. That's smart. You're smart, but still. Joe, your 25-year-old son and your baby daughter share a room just so you can keep a weirdo beautiful mind room? Isn't that a little bizarre? And then we dug the bullets out of that Iraqi family's skulls so they couldn't be traced back to us. Today, I saw a balloon. I don't know why that was Boy, awesome. Listen, thanks for putting up with me the last couple weeks. Hey, no problem. You put up with me when I was barefoot, guy. Boy, nothing like a beer with the fellas, eh? Peter, would you mind putting on some shoes? Oh, you mean Gross. foot prisons? Yes, I would. Gross. I think he's right about that. After all, we couldn't even turn a double play. All right, Griffin's on the ground. We're going to second. Let's turn two here. Ground ball's a double play. Ball plays at second. Let's look sharp. Tough T, tough T. Let's flash that leather. Heading the game. Plays the second. This infield is a great wall of China. Nothing's getting past us. Good D behind you, Bry. Good D all around. I'm okay, everyone. Don't worry. I am okay. My voice sounds weird. This is weird, I know, but I feel fine. I was hoping that would happen. I can get you steady work with a voice like that. Really? Wow, thank you. It, this is great. Now I won't have to become a Mary Kay saleswoman. So, what makes these shampoos different from the ones at the supermarket? These shampoos have been in my car. Wow, that was amazing! I mean, usually the show's sucking this. Damn. Damn. It didn't make me laugh, but it made me smile. Oh. That. That was good. <sighs> Come on, focus, man. Focus! Focus. Focus. That was a good joke. All right. Wow, that was amazing. I mean, usually the show's suck in this town. Like Moisha, the low energy bar mitzvah clown. Ooh, what's this? A quarter? I found it behind your ear earlier. All right, that's enough tricks for you. I'm going to go lie down on the coats. I'm really going to miss that club. You know what part I like the most? Walking around the locker room naked and offering people sections of a tiny clementine. Clementine? Oh, thank you. Mm. Clementine? None for me, thanks. Clementine? Yes, thank you. Clementine? Yeah, I'll have one. Ooh, softly. Sorry. Yes, I'll have one. There you go. God, it's good to be old and nude. We climbed Mount Everest! Isn't it amazing, Brian? You can see for... Oh, you're doing your pee thing. Right. I don't really know what the point is. I mean, there's no way other dogs can smell this. Trust me, Stewie, they'll know. They'll know the world is now mine. No way. Well, that sounds awfully lonely. Like being an NBA player on the road. Baby, I miss my wife so much. Thanks for understanding that we can't do anything. I just want to cuddle. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm just doing what a man should do, respecting the sacred institution of marriage. And now, straight to sleep. This message brought to you by the NBA. Let's all pretend this happens. Yeah, right. Of course, tonight is Randall Evan Battencourt. God, I hate understudies. King Louis the 16th has been sentenced to death by guillotine. Yeah! The part of King Louis the 16th will be played by Jean de Menard. Aww. Relax, you're gonna do great. Oh, I've seen this one. Nailed it. Great, trust me, nobody's gonna give you a hard time. And even if they do, just ignore them. That's what I do with that weekend bully. Hey, your weekend sucks. I've already gone on a hike and fixed a few things around my house. What are you doing? Peter, who is that man? I don't want to talk about it. No, no, no. What are you doing? How long you been there? Those names is no good. Look, why don't y'all just give me a list? I'll run them up to God and see if he picks one. No. No. That's the name of a champagne. No. No, terrible. These are all just terrible. Relax, God. You want me to get y'all some wine and cheeses? Wait, what'd you just say? Cheeses. You want some cheeses? Oh, come on. They're not all Bingo. bad. Oh, yes, I've seen the women you bring home. That stutterer, she was a real prize. How are you enjoying your meal? L L L Lois, it's d d delicious. Oh, for crying out loud. Peter, why are you turning up the heat again? Lois, this woman is obviously freezing. I wish my daddy were here. He always knows what to do. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, I better leave a note. It's the right thing to do.
I'd be mad as hell. Hey. Hey. Damn it. He already started. If I don't start peeing soon, it's gonna be weird. He'll be all done and I'll still be here. Come on, Peter. Pee. Your dad fought in World War II and you can't even pee in a urinal. What the hell's wrong with you? All set? Yep. I know you didn't go. I'm gonna go pee in a stairwell. Are you saying you want me to stop hanging out with Joe and Quagmire? They're my friends. They're all I got. And you know how hard it is for me to make new friends. Whoa. Is this friends? Whoa. Hi, NBC. This is Peter Griffin. Listen, you guys are doing a great job. If anybody knows what America wants in the 90s, it's NBC. But I just have one small request. I like Dateline, but I really hate waiting two hours to find out who the killer is. Tonight on Dateline, a woman murdered. Was it her ex-boyfriend? Yes, it was. I knew it. I knew it was the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, th that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. I'm telling you, the Founding Fathers would be very disappointed in where their country ended up. Eh, it wasn't so perfect back then, either. And so I say unto you, sons of liberty, no longer will free men live under the yoke of giant predatory birds, shrieking, swooping down, stealing our livestock. What's going on in here? N nothing uh, just belly aching about the British. Get back to warming those eggs. Okay. Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Over here, Lindsay! Excuse me, which one was Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. No, I've seen this one too. Give me cocaine! Jesus. Wow. That was pretty funny, man. I'm not gonna lie. That Lois clip was really funny, man. I, you could probably argue that I, I did laugh, but I didn't make any sounds, okay? I smiled. So, if you guys have anything on me, I smiled and I lost that smile uh, challenge. But I didn't, I didn't laugh. Did not laugh. <laughs> What's different from the bottles that I see in the stores? These have been in my car all day. <laughs> there's no there's literally no difference at all that shit was really funny the one about the nba players on the road man that's really true and funny as hell um the michael jordan one was really funny and i haven't seen that one either there's actually quite a few that i haven't seen before which is always nice so <laughs> um let me know where you guys broke it very good compilation i love that i haven't seen these cutaways so uh, very good to see newer content that I haven't seen or just ones that I just hadn't come across yet But anyway guys post in the comment section where you lost it and I'll be back with some more reactions Peace What is up everybody we got some old family guy season 12 and 13 all deaths compilation Try not to laugh challenge it's time to end this thing. Yeah, it is. Damn. Anyway, I'll be right back. Oh, this is when Brian gets killed. Brian, look out! It's actually kind of sad, actually. Brian, can you hear me? Holy crap, what the hell happened? <laughs> that guy sucked. I don't know, fat man. I think you're jumping the gun. I mean, crucifixion seemed great at first, too. Why are you doing that? Because I'm mad at this guy. I'm mad at this jar of pickles I can't open. Nail it up! Because everyone knows that life after being famous is even better than it was before. Let me just grab my stuff off the bus. It's from me. Merry Christmas. What the hell? There's a foot in this box. That was supposed to go to somebody else. I'm very sorry. I could well, not stand that friends, dog. I think Johnny the Foot Giatelli is dead. Oh, no. They killed Frankie Choo Choo Chinelli instead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You sure that's what this means? Could be they killed Davy the Box Fratelli. Ooh. Hold 
on, it could also be they killed Jimmy Tissue Paper Scoongeely. I just saw Jimmy yesterday at my kid's christening. So maybe it wasn't Jimmy. Maybe this means they killed Anthony the Air Around the Box Manetti. Oh, no. They killed Sal holding the box that we can't figure out what the box means, Casella. I don't know why you're complaining. I'm the one who's about to get violently bisected by the woodsman. What woodsman? <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I'm just trying to settle this nonsense. Nothing got settled. You shot him. I'm the one who has to shoot him. Wait, wait a second. All right, then I get to shoot Joe. All right, he shot me. I mean, if we're doing things fair here, then... I remember this. All right, we're good. God, I hate funerals. Yeah, they're stupid. Thank God I'm not going to die. What do you mean? Of course you are. I'm not going to die, Brian. I'm like Jim Belushi. I am worried about my funny brother, though. Food fight! Good! <laughs> This is tragic, but will also open a door for me. Oh, I remember this. Evelyn? Evelyn? Listen, Carter, you take me out of your will, I'm taking you out of mine. Peter, that wasn't your will. That was your birth certificate. Oh, no. <gasps> There's no light. There's only fire. Hey, Chris, hey, you remember that kid you said was bullying you at school? Well, here's his head. Ah! That's not even him. That's the deaf kid. Oh, that was sign language. I thought he was trying to defend himself with terrible karate. Peter, so be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. Wow. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the oh, winner yeah. will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! Good oh, Lord, no one wants to be near me. This is lonelier than a Kennedy family reunion. Where is everybody? Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, that's okay. Uh, and listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I took one step outside the resort. But you should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. You have no idea how many terrifying things there are out here in the dark. My nephew, Scrappy Brian, didn't even make it through the night. Hey, Uncle Brian, let's go check out that noise. I don't know, Scrappy Brian. Might be better just to stay put. I'm not afraid. Let me get him. Let me get him. <coughs> Damn it. I told my sister this wasn't a good weekend. The NFL experience. That sounds cool. Kid, you're the best. Sign with me and you're gonna make millions. Griffin, get out there! Now! It's his name. Doc! You'll never play football again. Too bad, kid. You was gonna buy me a house! Now I have headaches. I'm gonna save my brain for science. Oh my god. So dark. Okay, I think I've seen some of those clips though before, but um... Let's check out season 13. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Over. we did it. What's he doing here? Well, we gotta carry him because he can't fly on his own. Do we let that other guy try and look what happened. No, 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 no! Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see those forms. Excuse me, Mr. Hemingway, can I have a beer with you? Sure! I love life and all the people in it. Thanks. And hey, as a fellow writer, I would love to talk to you about the craft. I mean, God, if only we could get rid of these damn arms and attach the pen directly to the heart, right? You guys, oh I got his pen! my ah! God. Oh my god, where are we? Omaha Beach, 1944. This is D-Day. What's that over there? Oh, that's double D-Day. 
So sure. Wait a minute. Pre-Soviet Russia? This wasn't on the manifest. Yeah, this is kind of a personal thing. Hey, Pavlov, you dog-teasing dick! How's this for positive reinforcement? <laughs> All right, where to next? I want to kill more scientists! We're going to drown on the Titanic! Oh, no, we're not. Hey, I said you can't come on here. Get out of my way, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Sorry, eat him. Oh no! I can't swim without my striped one piece. Sometimes people just need a little encouragement to succeed, like Jason Biggs got from his grandfather. Jason, I want you to promise me one thing: always be forgettable. I will, Grandpa. Hey, that's just a regular unattractive guy who's not famous. We did it, Grandpa. Don't doubt me, Brian. I never back down. Like Boppo, the inflatable punching clown. Ah, you're in big trouble, Boppo. We told you to take a dive in the third round, and you just kept popping back up. Let him have it, boys. <coughs> He's pretty tough, boss. I'll handle this. Whoa, Boppo, take it easy there, pal. We, 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 we was just playing with you. Yeah, we didn't mean no harm. <coughs> We've got the place completely surrounded. We all know how it's going to end. Come out with your hands up, lad. How did I know? How did I know? How did I know? You're a monster. You're even worse than Dr. Finkelstein. Igor, did you get the body? Yes, master. You know what to do. It's a five. A five! <laughs> Like I figured out who was stealing my lunch at work. Next time there's a sandwich in the fridge with somebody's name on it, don't you have the MP5. Please, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. That lunch didn't have your name on it, but this bullet does. My name is Peter too. But one slip up, and you'll be deader than the first man to well, die. Ellie and Lisa. The Boyne. Ooh. Look, we gotta get the attention of that plane. <laughs> you gotta help us. Oh my god, way to go, Peter. He's always fucking up shit. I think the first one when Min Meg was showing her tits to the guy, I guess the school bully, that was uh, pretty good. But other than that, I was able to hold it in. If you uh, broke, let me know in the comment section below and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Peace.